Hey Lou. Hey, what's up? How how's it going? Do you know what the time it is? It's time to play something weird. How weird? I don't know. It just I don't even know how this game happened. <laughs> this is what happens when we talk, and I turn off the the human being brain, and I become just a an android that follows orders. But then this looks weird and interesting, I guess. I don't even know what to expect. <laughs> like this is this is what this is a visual novel. We don't do those things here. I mostly because I think I'm not interested enough to for a visual novel. I mean, how, how, visual novels are not even good for streaming, I guess. It's, those are things that you play on your own and you just read. They are books. You don't read books out loud. Unless you're an audiobook. Then that's not a story. But that's... I mean, I guess people enjoy this. Most likely. Um, I don't know how to feel. I only played Phoenix Ride. One and two. And even every time I try to do memory, I would if I ever play other visual novels, only Phoenix Wright comes in. Yeah, it's only Phoenix. <laughs> That's the only one I played. How about that? But now we're gonna play a new one. Or I gonna play a new one. This is um Yeah. This is, this is something. Let me open the game real quick. There it is. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. The game is not loud. For the first time, the game is not loud. Oh, my God. How is it even possible? Content warning. Hazy Man is designed for an adult audience. This content isn't for everyone and it will include topics such as suicide, depression, blood, murder, and strong language. There you go. There's the warning. If you don't like it, go away, I guess. <laughs> Let me see. I don't know if the game is supposed to be quiet or it's just... That was just the intro? I don't know. I'm gonna, I guess we can change the audio when we, when we get in, but um, I'm gonna tell you something really interesting. I like the options on languages, English, Turkish, Ukrainian, and Japanese, which uh, it's an interesting choice of languages. It's cool, don't get me wrong, it's cool, but I think I've never seen this combination of four languages, <laughs> so that's, that's cool. Nice. So, uh, game. What is this? I don't know. Don't even ask. Don't even ask. What is it? it says load. Wait. Sunday, March 10. Okay, I guess that's when I got the game. One thirty a.m. Awesome. All right. No, I I, I got enough. I don't even know what this is. You know what? Screw it. No more words. Start. Save looks at okay, we can we can change the language if we need to. Hey, what's up? My thoughts fragment my mind like shards of glass. I can feel each suicide. <laughs> yeah. On the left. See, I don't know. Listen. This is the first line of dialogue. My thoughts fragment. My mind like shard of glass. I can feel each suicidal thought slicing me from within. Yeah, this game is gonna be getting intense real quick. I'm tired of battling with my own mind, with each day growing increasingly burdensome. Antidepressants and sleeping pills, my daily allies, will yet again become today's escape from this war. Oh, we're gonna get sad, we're gonna get weird. Internally, I'm screaming in pain. The fear of what death might bring holds me back. 
Is it worth the fight even with everything inside is pleading for surrender? Yo, this, this game is dark. How I fight? I mean, I don't know. I guess after this game, I'm gonna feel like shit. Like, this is... This is, <laughs> this is when is speed running, speed running darkness? Death seems like a relief, but what if it's just a different kind of pain? Thoughts spin in my mind, but my head keeps on beating. My hallucinations morph into terrifying creatures, squirming in my mind like worms ordering no peace. Skipping. Skipping what? Fear paralyzed me, leaving me in the darkness with only my thoughts for company. individuals. This is not recommended for me then. <laughs> A bottle of pills in my hands, my heart pounding in my chest. A terrifyingly real reminder of the life I wish to end. Dude, where's me number? He, I, he told me the game was dark. I wasn't expecting this dark. What? This is like... <laughs> I understand how strongly emotions overwhelm me. I understand how long I have thought about this. But my brain continues to look for reasons not to do it. In the end, my self-hatred still wins. Oh shit, hatred drop. Uh, I'm gonna guess this, game, this has multiple endings, and in one of them... Um, we do something nasty. <laughs> the bills feel as icy as snow. The coldness seeps through my skin, swiftly sweeping away the last remnants of doubt. Closing my eyes, I swallow them one by one. My mind starts to fog from the pills I've taken. A strange moment of silence ensues. It's as if the world has slowed its rotation, gave me time to reconnect with my fate. The sensation of the pills in my throat feels like a sharp blow to the back, a confirmation of the irreversible decision I've just made. So when we die, we spear and death. My consciousness becomes foggy, thoughts mingle, quickly thrown into, um, into meaningless chaos. I hear my own breathing, its cycle getting quieter and less frequent. So have we died already? I surrender to lifeless yet soothing oblivion, sleep. It comes like a wave, sweeping me into an impenetrable depth, I surrender without resistance. Suddenly, it appeared. A glimmer sparks in the darkness, and I see a dream. Surrounding darkness starts morphing. Dreams within its their stories both frightening and familiar. Um, there are scenes from my life, moments of both happiness and suffering. Okay, so we just died, and we're watching our life. Those images become more vivid, adopting shapes, scores, and sounds. I laughed when I was happy. Oh, look at that guy! But there are dreams that pierce me, remind me of what led me here. I dig deeper and deeper into the dream. It's like a journey through my own soul. To see light. I'm drawn to this light like I'm more enticed by fire. The light. The promise of safety. My eyes open. I feel the solid surface of the bed comforting my body. My head is still foggy, but it no longer pains me the way it did before. My consciousness slow slowly returns. Something is off. Everything around looks unfamiliar, even though I know it's my space. Flashing images, but I can piece them together into a co coherent whole. a feeling of emptiness as if a part of me is missing is this game based on me names faces moments everything is plunged into a disorganized mess steam unreachable for my mind harder to breathe my mind screams seeking answers i don't have everything around starts to seem distant and insignificant i'm lost in my own world realization sets in i have forgotten everything oh we have amnesia that's it. You know, amnesia. 
Oh, it's based on Overwatch and League players. Oh, then everything makes sense now. My existence is erased. I'm too scared to move, to breathe, because even these sensations feel new and alien. With each breath, I attempt to remember, but it only results in greater panic. I like the art style, though. Yo, you can... Ooh! Brand new for a visual novel. It moves depending on your mouse. The world around me begins to crumble like an abandoned building, eroding as time passes. I sense that I am moving further away from myself with each, each passing second. Fear grabs around me, squeezing my heart, and I can't find an escape. Gravity feels double, my body fails to resist, falling back onto the bed. The mist of chaos. Are we dead? I feel the warmth of a foreign hand slowly passing through my hair. Is that the gold girl? <laughs> Despite consciousness stirring again, the desire to leave the comfortable sanctuary of my bed has disappeared. However, in the end, I decide to find out who is so tenderly guarding my peace. It's the gold girl. Which I guess is death. Hello. You finally woken up. Wait, you're talking? Wait, she's talking. What? Look at the eye. No. Look at the eye, look at the eye. Oh shit! The god girl is talking. You must be feeling lost and confused right now. Unsure of where you are and who I am. Are you the Grim Reaper? Don't worry. I'm here to help you. But I want her to speak in Ukrainian. Can we do that? Or I guess we are forced to be in Ukrainian. I need to tell you something that might be hard for you to hear, but it's important that you know. This isn't the first time this has happened. You've woken up with no memory before. <laughs> what if we just teleported to the world of Dark Souls? Every night, your memory is reset. You cannot remember yesterday or any day before that. After a failed suicide attempt, you went through a lot of stress, and that's why you can't remember things. Who are you? Oh, I forgot to introduce Are you the Grim Reaper? Apologies. My name is Morana. Oh, it's Morgana. Your mom hired me to look after you, as every night you wake up oblivious to the world around you. It's Morgana. My role is to be a beacon in the early hours, to help you navigate through the confusion. Of course, I am also here to assist you in regaining your memory. Okay. By the way, my duty is to provide you with a guide on what to do when I'm not around, and where to find essential items you might need. Here, this is the guide. As you can see, it's a bit worn out since you've used it prior. Eight kit in your cabinet, kitchen, straight down the corridor, then tag emergency, call 911, phone is on the table, address, city arc, Booty Street, Booty Street, in oh shit. Emergencies, the first aid kit is in your cabinet, the very bottom. Hey, what's you up? instantly recognize it. What's up? It's like a typical first hey, aid oh. kit. Wait a second. Okay, I'm sorry. Just to be on the safe side, I've sketched a picture of it here in the guide, so you can be sure you've found the right box. To get to the kitchen, you will need to leave your room, Oof. walk straight down the corridor, then take a left. That's where you'll find the kitchen. If something happens to either of us, dial 911. That's the number for okay. emergency services. Yeah, the game may start with you killing yourself. The phone is switched on. Because life recharged. sucks. You've always had a knack for figuring out how to use it, so I'm sure you won't have any issues there. Hmm, what else was there? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, right. If you have to call an ambulance, you'll need to know your address. It's 4 Butiv Street, Ark City. Booty. It might be a bit challenging to remember right now, so I understand. Booty Street. However... Everything I have just told you is written down on this note. Please, keep it safe and always have it with you. Okay? Yes. 
Okay. Okay. Great. You're doing very well. Now, to add a little joy to the moment, I've prepared something special for you. I cooked your all time Yo! favorite dish. Toast with egg. All time favorite dish. Toast with egg. Holy shit. It's important to fuel your body. Niva Chimena Log, so delicious. Yum, yum, yum. And help you discover more about your life that's been temporarily forgotten. So don't rush yourself. Eat at your own pace. I'll be here. Well, since you're there done you. with your meal, we have one more thing to do. You'll need to take these pills. They're antidepressants. They've been prescribed by a doctor to keep any panic attacks at bay. Without them, things could become difficult. And I don't want that for you. I don't want to appear as if I'm forcing you to take some strange pills, especially if you are uncomfortable. That is not my intention. So is it God girlfriend friend or foe? While it's a condition for me to be able to show you the room, the decision is completely yours. What if she is the final boss? Just so you know, regardless of your choice, I will still guide you around the room. And I understand if you choose not to take them. Will you take these pills or not? Yeah, sure, why not? I had faith you would make sure, why not? <laughs> You'll need to take two pills to ensure everything goes smoothly. I know it might sound a bit Does this count as nourishment? Taking two instead of one, but trust me on this. Nothing adverse will happen. Here, these are the pills. Just take Look them at her them. and let them do their job. Oh, she's hungry for pills. I've noticed a shift in your gaze. Are you feeling all right? I think I'm dying. Please, you must tell me. If the antidepressants are affecting you adversely, it's better to stop taking them. I I think I'm not alright, man. Okay, sure. Then. The next thing you need to <laughs> do <laughs> is explore your room. You know, it's kind of greedy to eat all the pills and not sharing them. However, I see that it will be difficult for you to get up, and you'll certainly need my assistance. It's function. Ah, uh, don't worry, we don't need that here. We don't need that here, it's fine. Wow, this is my room? I understand that you are curious and have many questions. Let's do a question and answer session before we check out your room. We have a laptop. This girl plays League of Legends. That's with the antidepressants. Answer them a second time. Of course, you can save and revisit these questions. But where's the thrill in that? Trust your We're not saving. Instinct. That's my advice. So, what do you want to know? Arha, where is my mom? <laughs> where are the high elves? Uh, okay, well, I guess, uh, where's the... Why did I do this? Well, I can't tell Why would I do something like this? And I can't say I fully understand you in this regard. You have a loving mother, your own room, I believe you should have valued this more. You even had friends and popularity. In some ways, you were fortunate in life. However, that's just my opinion. Sorry. You can only come to understand the reasons for your actions by going through your diary. Only then will you better understand your my diary? Right now, we are in the question phase, and soon, we'll move to the room inspection. And then, you will find out everything about yourself. Okay. Do you have any other questions? Is this a dream? <laughs> will I just fall asleep and everything will repeat? <laughs> what is this question? <laughs> is this a dream? <laughs> what made you think that? No, it is not a dream. I understand. This is not that dream. This is the afterlife. It may seem like a strange individual, but I assure you that this is not a dream. Listen, a normal woman doesn't have those, those hands. You are something else. 
You are, you are a concept I don't understand. Do you think dreams capture taste that accurately? <laughs> Mini Joker makeup. <laughs> Silly question. question. That's not a human hand. Do something. Why do you look so strange? How can I remember everything forever? Do you mean how to overcome amnesia? To clarify, you have dissociative amnesia. But it's a bit more severe. <laughs> Dissociative amnesia involves forgetting personal life <laughs> events and biographical formats while retaining general. Oh, this is your average God Girl Han, huh? This type of amnesia. I hope she kills me. That's so boy. <laughs> In your case, the suicide attempt was a severe trauma. <laughs> Moreover, when you sleep, you can't retain the information from the day. However, I'm not a doctor to tell you how to cure this. Mm. I'm only quoting your psychotherapist. The therapist also mentioned that perhaps by coming to terms with the information you recall, you might heal. You might heal. Oh, yes. But obviously, that has not happened yet. Am I having amnesia and then remember you play League of Legends? Oof. Oh, that close or hands. Do you have any other questions? You met interesting people. Are you sure this is not a dream? Are you a real person? You never cease to amaze me. <laughs> Are you a real person? <laughs> Sorry. I understand you have amnesia, so I won't get mad at you. Are you real? Yes, I'm real. Okay, she's real voice confirmed. Otherwise, how could I have made you a piece of toast with egg? It was death toast and death egg. Made by the Grim Reaper. I don't know what Th this is a concept of something that we need to find out. Your graceful attempts to ask questions have ended. Now, we need to look around the room. So we have bed, window, poster, flower. I want video games. I should start by saying that all information I'll share comes from your mother. This is your laptop. You enjoyed listening to audiobooks and playing games. League of Legends. League of Legends. You also use the laptop for your studies. You even made friends online to play games with. <laughs> online to play games with. Oh shit. This laptop is like an extension of you. You practically spent all your time on it. Sure. As soon as you left, have school, you seen Hazy Mind too? Spent a lot of time on your laptop. Oh my God, it's literally me. Apparently, you were attempting to isolate yourself from reality and its consequences. You arrived late, lady. But soon after, you grew tired of it and stopped playing video games. I'm not sure if it was a good or bad decision, but it definitely changed your life a bit. By the way, you can look into your laptop and see what's there. Want to check? Yeah, why not? Well then, take a seat in the chair. I swear, if this god girl has put a rickroll, I'm gonna get mad. I sat down on the chair and opened my laptop. What the fuck is this? They really said these horrific pictures on my wallpaper. It looks a bit scary. Dude, my my wallpaper, ever since I got the the this PC, this original PC since 2016. Has been a Tugan eating Fruit Loops with human arms. Don't have names, but I should hover over them and then click the ones that interest me. It's 11.41. Oh, what is this? In a big city, there was a small old bookstore hidden between huge buildings. This was Julian's special place. He loved books and he looked after the bookstore. He had lots of stories to tell, but his own story hadn't happened yet. Then, one rainy Tuesday, everything changed. A girl named Amelia came into the store. She had eyes like the storm outside and a mysterious smile. She wanted a book from the top shelf. A book Julian didn't even know existed. When he got the book for her, their hands touched for a second. 
and it felt like a new story was starting. You know what the book is? The book is uh, Torrente Origins. Amelia is after Torrente Origins, the book. As Amelia kept visiting the bookstore, she and Julian got closer. They talked quietly among the old books, laughed together, and shared secrets. Julian started to fall in love with her. But Amelia always seemed a bit sad. Julian could see the, in her smile, her eyes. He didn't ask why because he didn't want to ruin what they had. One day, as the sun was setting, Amelia looked really sad. She told Julian something hard to hear. I'm sick. <laughs> I'm sick. She said, and there's no cure. I came here to get away from it all, to be in stories where everything ends happily and love lasts forever. Okay, I think I love with early. <laughs> the Smeg Wars. Oh yeah, the, the, the origin stories of the Smeg Warriors. The Smeg Wars. Time which one made their love grow now felt like it was running out. Julian wanted to make every moment count. They spent all their time together, making their love story stronger, even though they knew it would have to end. One cold day, when their lips were gone, Amelia passed away. Julian was with her, holding her hand. The room was very quiet, like when you finish a really good book. After Amelia was gone, the bookstore felt different to Julian. It was full of memories of her. He kept looking after the books, but he was never the same. The top shelf, where Amelia, Amelia's book was, got dusty. It was like a reminder of the girl who had changed his life. Now, in the quiet corners of the bookstore, if you listen carefully, it feels like their love story is still there. Julian talks to Amelia's memory, telling her stories. Their love lives on in the quiet moments in the bookstore. Is this a video? Round one. What? Oh shit, we wouldn't complete your list. What did this aim in? What did this aim in? One three again, yes. I just got a team called Wow, you are a gamer? Good job! Round 2 Good job! Cool music Good job! Game over Why well, have limited bullets? I have a limited bullet. I need more bullets. Round five. Game over. Ooh. Was it again? No. That was a badass game. But what is as badass as this? Oh my god. In New Arcadia, a bad city, there was a unique job held by a man named Icarus Fiends. What are these stories? He was known as an architect of memories, crafting and molding memories into real-life experiences for people seeking more than their everyday life. Icarus' small studio, high in an old building, was filled with jars of shimmering essences, echoes of laughter, sorrow and joy. House of the Dead. <laughs> Many visited him, each longing for memories they missed or never had. One rainy night, a ballet dancer named Elara came to Icarus. Her life was a series of rehearsals and brief shows, her movements a display of discipline, discipline grace. But her eyes held and cried tears, she wanted to remember something different. A deep personal love. Is it gonna be the same story all the time? What is this us and the boy is someone we like or something? He said that something sometimes our hearts want 
want what only real life can give. Elara, desperate, agreed. For days, Icarus worked hard. He created a memory of true love for Elana for all first glances. Touches and whisper words in the quiet night. He made a memory where Elara danced not for an audience, but for someone who loved her deeply. When the time came, Elara experienced this memory. She found herself on a starry balcony, dancing with a blurred figure, feeling a love that filled her. She woke up joyful, thanking Icarus for letting her feel love. Icarus, a bit sad, told her this was just a shadow of real love. He knew that true love was something to be discovered and experienced, not made. Elara left. Oh shit. Dude, right click is pause. Hell yeah. And she rejected you. Oh dude. I think this is my own personal god girl. <laughs> you know? The new system. Personal god girl. That she, she take care of you, giving you toast and egg. Elara left, her heart touched by this experience, but soon the memory faded. Window noise. She realized that real love couldn't be made or remembered. It had to be found nurtured. So Elara changed her routine life. She explored New Arcadia, making real connections and finding joy in simple moments. And then in a quiet cafe, she met someone. This time, the spark between them was real. Starting a flame, no crafted memory calls much. Creating dreams. He knew some things like love were too wild and real for even him to make. They belong to life, waiting for those brave enough to seek them. Who are making these stories? Is this my character? Oh my god, it's WhatsApp. It's like social. Some social network is there. There was no internet on the laptop. So you cannot search for something. Okay, now the invasion is ruined. I'm not talking to, to my people. But in this social network, I have only one chat with one person named Io. <laughs> Io. <laughs> Wait, is that Io or Ten? Ten. Is that Io or Ten? <laughs> ten. Oh shit, this music ten. is... Why are you Ted? Why are you treating me like this? I just don't want to have anything to do with you. But why? Why did, you, why did I do wrong? Tell me, I will correct it. You are too pushy towards me. Even now, you're willing to embarrass yourself just to talk to me. This is you're my roommate, for fuck's sake. That's slow. You should value yourself more. You're my only real friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize. I'm the one who should be apologizing, so please forgive me. I hope you find a better friend than me. <laughs> Why does everything have to be so complicated? How can I fully understand you? Why are human emotions and feelings so complex? You see, what, if you talk like this... I mean, I guess sometimes I talk like this, so I should be quiet. I mean, I'm the asshole that every time he plays Monster Hunter, he goes... I need humans to play. So I should be quiet. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Basically mailing Ukrainian god girls just to take care of me. And giving me toast and egg. We were never friends. I just talked to you out of pity and used to fuck you, Nisiki. I don't need you. I'm a habit even now. I'm a terrible person. You just dream of a friend to work with, play with, and share jokes with. That's your ideal, right? And you projected it into me. But I don't really want to talk to you. I'm not really interested in everything you send or share. I'm not even interested on, in how you're doing. Oh, this is depressing. <laughs> I ask out of politeness. Although I don't even remember the last time I did. I've been silent about this for so many years and finally I can speak out. This feeling is priceless. I'm just as insecure as you, which is why I couldn't tell you all this right away. It's a pity I'm saying this so late, but it's better late than ever. You will continue to live in a lie and in a colorful world where I'm your best friend, where internet friends will definitely meet and where everyone cares about each other. 
wake up dragon punch i mean i don't know if i mean i don't know if you can get out of bed so <laughs> i have free i cannot even wake up i mean i think we are dead so wake up has another meaning you know what else your, ch your childish behavior really annoyed me Nice key. You often got upset when I ignored you. Don't you understand that sometimes people find it hard to gather their thoughts and respond? You acted like a child, as if, as if everyone owes you something. No, they don't. You owe it to yourself. You need to be your own friend. No one else will help you grow up and stop being such a selfish child. A selfish child. That's why you're better off without me. This is my last message, after which I'm deleting my account. Goodbye. Sorry. Fuck you, Nisiki. I don't need you. I have Sajima. <laughs> in the future, see this float in the sky and people can reach the stars. There was a robot named Ailos, the last of his kind. He was special because he could understand and so human feeling. Made to connect people and machines. Ailos lived in a big empty city that people had left to live among the stars. He walked around the tall building on quiet streets, remembering the humans who created him. I think this is Wally. More than more than near. You know Wally? Wally. He saw their happy and sad times in his memories. Ailos often wondered if he could really feel things or if he was just copying what he saw. One day, as the sun was setting, Ailos found an old teddy bear. It was old and worn out, but Ailos liked it a lot. He called it Tim. <laughs> Tim the teddy bear, and always took it with him, like a friend. Years passed and Ailos started to break down. He moved slowly and didn't work as well, but he kept hoping people would come back. One night, Ailos stopped working near a fountain under the stars. He understood something important. Feelings connect everyone, whether they are real or not, and they are a part of everything. Holding Tim, Ailos stopped working with a peaceful smile. He wasn't sure if this feeling was real, but he felt calm and connected to the humans he never met, but knew from memories. The city stayed quiet, a reminder of the past, but Ailos' story stayed, showing how everyone looks for connection and tries to understand feelings. Well, do you have some questions about your laptop? What a load of bullshit. Was there a seed poster? Was there a fanfic writer? Questions about your laptop. What's taken? Yes. Oh, we're, really fan, we're a fan fiction writer. As you can see, not every story has a happy ending. But you're always trying to make stories with happy endings. Like those in movies. I think the story with the ballet dancer shouldn't have ended like that. That ending was so stupid. Like, what? Why? Oh, she hates me now. The story could have ended when Alara realizes the memories are fading and she's not happy anymore. The part about her finding a new love interest is so far-fetched. But the other stories? I really enjoyed them. You're a good writer, I think. So she likes sad people. Oh, no, no. I just confess to looking at your laptop. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm just a bit tired from work and when you sleep... I hope she didn't found stories. that folder. Or I go to internet forums. They're funny, I think. Sorry, again. But... Since you don't have much information on your laptop anyway, it's not a problem at all. You can continue looking around the room. Check the laptop again. Okay, what's in the window? Another poster. Oh, that's a poster. This one you bought when you were a bit older. I guess the window's this. You're a fan of anime, it seems. Oh! But since you were a child, you mostly watched... We like anime! Holy shit, we like anime? No way. I understand you. I was the same. Only later do you realize that such things don't happen in real life. Or do they? Maybe it just hasn't happened to you yet. Don't lose hope. 
Anything can happen in the future, right? I is. But that's not really important. Later, he regretted buying the poster, but you can't take it down because it would ruin the wallpapers. <laughs> I bet in the window. I cannot see the window. Okay, I'm going back to sleep. Oh, then off. This is the coziest place on the planet. Thank you. Oh god, if it were up to me, I would sleep in bed all my life. I'm doing that right now, if you know what I mean. I know it's not much different I mean, than death, but... <laughs> I have a feeling I'm there. So death is not an option. Though who knows? Maybe we really do dream after we die. Think about it. Oh, we're getting philosophical now. But let's not talk we're, we're becoming like Sonic and the Black Knight about life and death. Oh, hello, ask you. What's up? This is the bed you sleep in. Usually, you just lie there and stare at the ceiling. As a child, it seemed you had fun glow-in-the-dark stickers that you would gaze at for a long time when you couldn't sleep. Okay, what's left? What is this thing? This is a poster of a rock band you liked. You are rock band! You know, you used to buy these posters and stick them up. Later on, you thought it was a bad decision. So what? Uh, we like anime? We like rock? We, we write fan fictions and we like to sleep. That's your character. This poster still hangs here, reminding you of your childhood and how you were a huge fan of this band. That's good. I, I mean, we are knowing ourselves right now. It's not a good idea. It would take off the wallpaper as well, ruining the look of your apartment. You can continue looking around the room. I guess it's a matter of time we get this, the weird shit happening, but right now we are knowing ourselves. This is the plant your mom gave you for your See, we have, a, we have a plant. It's surprising it's still alive after so long. <laughs> Just kidding. It's really because you've always taken such good care of it. Lately, with your health Do God girls like your mom kebabs? Has been looking after it mostly. <laughs> That's it, I'm done. Oh, we have a book. This is your diary. Oh, sorry, a diary. Most important thing no. Boo. And reading it might take some time. But since you've clicked on it, you definitely... Since you click on it, you definitely didn't need to read it. She's talking directly to me. She's talking directly to me. Disturb you, during this time. Read at your own pace. you are not allowed to break the fourth wall. If you want to share your emotions after reading, I'll be glad to listen. I saw Morana sit down on a chair next to my table and close her eyes. Apparently, with such a job, she gets very little sleep. I carefully picked up the diary and sat on the bed. It looked like a regular book. It didn't have all that many pages, but the book still seemed thick. Perhaps because I had read it so many times, the book had become slightly misshapen, adding to its thickness. I don't know what awaits inside, and the atmosphere starts to get tense. Overcoming my anxiety, I finally opened the diary's first page and began to read. 2208-2017 Hello! <laughs> I decided to start a diary because Rhea told me it helps understand oneself and improves relationship with others. Basically, she seemed to be promoting it to me, so I bought a notebook and will try to write down everything happening in my life. Honestly, I don't think this will last long since I'm not a very consistent person. I can do the same thing every day, but we'll see, maybe it'll work out? It's hard for me to write. I don't even know what to write about. What did I do today? Went to school, talked with friends, came home, did my homework, and now I'm just sitting at home. My mom's not home, as usual, and I have nothing to do. Well, technically, I have a lot I could do, like self-improve, prepare more for my lessons play computer games, but they prefer to lie on the bed and stay at my ceiling. I don't know if everyone's as lazy as me or what it's called. Procrastination, I think. Not sure about the spelling. But you can become anyone in this world. Work hard, live your passion. But you choose to just lie on the bed. I think in the future I will read my diary and might not understand. Maybe even blame myself for something. But I'm tired. Yes, I have many friends at school. I get good grades. And I even hang out with friends outside. I always smile and joke around them, trying to stay positive. 
Yet when I come home, I feel sadness and loneliness. Nothing seems to help, not video games, not studying, not even food. Maybe I'm just not in the mood. Honestly, thank you, diary. I feel like I've bended to someone, like crying on a shoulder. I feel a bit better. But not getting an answer back is hard. It's like talking to a wall, maybe I don't need a reply. Your purpose might be to be there for anyone who wants to share something privately, but is afraid to. Anyway, I'll go now. 4-9-2017 Hello again, diary. It's been two days since school started. These days were normal. Ria and I sat together, joked during breaks and had lunch together. Today I brought her the cookies I bake at home, and she shared a tasty salad with me. She loved the cookies. Ria is generally a kind person. We have a lot in common, but she's not into video games. She prefers studying, and she's really dedicated. I don't have that drive, even though I get the same grades as her. I feel like school just prepares us to be perfect workers. It's like do this, do that, don't question things. Or else you'll, you'll get the lowest mark. Or in a job setting, you might get fired. Hello, diary. Recently, our class was asked to write an essay about friendship. What a weird class. Who, who, what class makes you write something about friendship? Did, did you guys get essays about fun things? I got just boring shit. Every time I was in school, I was every single essay or whatever was just boring shit. I remember I once was forced to do something about way smoking is bad. Because kids around me were being loud and they got punished for that. And for some reason, I also got punished, even though I was innocent. And I was forced to do one full, one full page about way smoking is bad. I hate the essays. I have a feeling everybody... I'm pretty sure essays can be fun if it's something about you enjoy. Wow, you know, school is... You know. I remember that. Oh, well, that's life. What is... <laughs> the meaning of life. What the fuck do I know about life? You can get just get mental. I just remember that one, like, why smoking is bad? See, I don't know. I remember talking about Metal Gear, that if you smoke, you die. Just to, type, just to put anything in there. I also remember having huge spaces between paragraphs. paragraphs, Just to make faster, to fill the, the page faster. But yeah. Also remember, that was a punishment while we were full of tests. No, that's not, that's not depression, but it was school life. Should I worry more about what the teacher thinks rather than what I truly feel? It's so absurd. At first, I wrote an essay expressing my real opinion that friends are just a way to avoid feeling lonely. After rereading it, I realized the teacher wouldn't like it. I tried to write something that would get me a good grade, but the problem was I sat with that paper for over an hour and couldn't think of anything. I decided not to submit the essay and got the lowest mark. I chose not to tell my mom about it and she doesn't seem to care much about me anyway. If I had submitted the essay with my honest feelings, they might have sent me to a psychiatrist or even suspended me from school. That's life. Yikes. Okay. Hello again. Sorry for not writing for so long, nothing new happened. As usual, I hang out with Rhea, played video games, slept, and of course, went to school. But something happened recently that threw me off. As I mentioned, I have many friends, including guys, and mostly play video games with them. And recently, one of the guys confessed his feelings to me. Diary, you can imagine my surprise. I mean, I've seen some girls flirting with guys and vice versa. But I always set boundaries and no one ever flirted with me. I never cared about such things and never even thought about it. But for the first time in my life, someone confessed to me. He just said it. 
honestly and openly, feeling it wasn't fair to keep it a secret from me and wanted an honest answer. I don't know how to respond to him because I don't feel that strong love describing movies or books. Still, I'm really flustered by all of this. I'm even embarrassed to write to you about it because I'm usually so down when I talk to you, but now I'm smiling as I write this. It feels so unusual. Hello again. Remember the last time I wrote about the guy who confessed to me? Well, we are seeing each other now. It's not like we're officially together. Are we going to have a nasty breakup and everything goes to the shitter? Is that the reason of the LTG? <laughs> a nasty breakup? Like, we're just hanging out and getting to know each other. So this time I realize I like him. I'm not really worried about what will happen next since he hasn't asked me about my feelings yet. <laughs> but if he does, I'll be so embarrassed. All of this is overwhelming me. Lately, I seem happy and even started turning down Rea's offers to hang out. <laughs> she's quite puzzled because I haven't told her who I've been spending time with, but I think she suspects I have a boyfriend. Oh, on top of that, this girl gets a boyfriend and ignore her friend. Oh, that's nasty. The Jagusa. No, my first visual novel is finished, right? <laughs> yeah, too. The only visual novels I ever played are uh, Phoenix Wright 2 and then I played Phoenix Wright 1. Which I think the second one was called Justice for All. And that's it. To be honest, so technically this is my third one, or fourth if you count RDR2. <laughs> it's scared. Soon we'll be applying to colleges, choosing our dream professions or staying in school for two more years. I think I'm not very sure about what I want to do. So I'll stay in school for another two years. Thoughts of the future upset me. I don't want to think about it. Oof. I got a strange feeling that something's wrong with me. It's a cat. I love to draw especially different creatures. Different creatures. For instance, I recently drew a chubby black cat during class. My... My imagination can run wild sometimes. Yo, my twisted imagination, a chubby cat. Oh shit, this girl is crazy. <laughs> but in class, believe it or not, I thought I saw that exact cat I drew walking to a room, looking so real. I instantly knew it wasn't real and laughed it off, ramming them being tired from school. But deep down, I'm worried and scared. I know mental health issues can be inherited. I had a grandfather who took his own life. Oof. My mom often spoke of him, remembering him as a great man and cried for him. She said he lost his mind after my grandmother's death. I never met, met him, though so I wish I could talk to him. It's a pity. I don't romanticize I don't romanticize mental disorders like movies do. I think it's not a nor it's not normal and should be treated. Otherwise people can completely lose their minds. Anyway, that's the worst situation experience. The worst situation experience. I drew a cat and then I saw a cat. I never got a cat walking to my classroom, but one day there was a mouse inside the the classroom. I remember it was the first class of the day. And only I realized that there was a tiny, it wasn't a rat, it was a tiny mouse in the room. And everybody was working and no one realized. Until I talked to a guy, hey, check, check it out. Mouse. I remember it. A lot of girls started to scream. It was a really tiny orange mouse, really cute. And one of the, cla the class fellas, they just got a piece of paper and put the mouse in and started to show it to everyone. <laughs> And then the professor goes, the teacher got mad and they throw the mouse off the window. We were on a first floor, so, so it's uh, nasty. Going to class. That's awesome, dude. That's really nice. The school ones. <laughs> Having pets into a school. I brought a rat. I got in my room to class and got sent home. <laughs> 
<laughs> Rat Ratchard really cool. Rats are nice. They're really nice. I like them. Mouse overall. Chinchillas. Chinchillas are sick. Yeah, cool story. Cool animal story. I have no more. Because, you know, the typical wasp coming into the room and everybody, oh shit, a wasp! Or some shit like that. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Not as cool as Hello Diary. Life goes on as usual, but I want to be... Wait. Can I just do this? Boo! Never mind, I tried. Hello Diary. Life goes on as usual, but they want to bend. Maybe even cry a little. I think something terrible is happening to me, and I'm too scared to tell my mom, even though I know I should. I don't want to become like some movie psychopath or schizophrenic. <laughs> I hate the idea. Only fools romant romanticize that, as these are scary diseases, and people do horrible things when they suffer from them. I recently read a story about a woman who killed her own kids overnight because she was schizophrenic. From what I understand about that, this illness, you see creatures or places that aren't real, just in your mind. <laughs> you see nightmare creatures or places that aren't real. The God Girl, she ain't real. That's been my feeling lately. I've started seeing weird creatures, especially when I'm bored. Like during classes, I see them often, and it's hard to get rid of them unless I distract myself. I know I should tell my mom, but I'm terrified of being diagnosed or accepting that I might never be able to live normal in society. That would be like death to me since I'd no longer be ordinary. I'm still thinking about it, but I'll wait more if there are any updates. I did it. I told my mom today. It was hard and seeing her reaction was painful. The look in her eyes and her expression said it all. She might see me as a monster. Or maybe she doesn't believe me and thinks it's just a teenage prank. I don't know. It took a lot of time and effort to get it out and find the right moment. I don't know what to do next. This is the first page I cried on, sorry. It's just very hard for me. I want to tell others, but people might avoid me. No one wants to be around someone like me. I'm sure of it. Only head is moving, check it. I might go mad and hurt them or myself. Who knows what other horrible things might happen. So I'll keep quiet until the end. For now, my mom and I have a schedule, an appointment with a psychiatrist. She knows. I don't know my diagnosis yet, I'm just fearing the worst. Life's been tough, especially when things are funny starting to get better. I've been in a relationship with a boy. My relationships with my friends are better than ever, and my school grades are good. Okay, diary. I'll wait when I have the strength. Goodbye. Bye. Two days after Christmas. It's <laughs> schizophrenia. I shouldn't be laughing, but... So, we have schizophrenia. Okay, the gold girl is not real. So, you have two choices. Mr. Bateman from American Psycho or Ichiban from Yakuza. And we got Ichiban. Psycho the Prince friend, yeah. It's hereditary. Christmas is schizophrenia. <laughs> I got it from my grandfather. I had no idea this was hereditary. I've been removed from school, but my mom arranged for me to be treated at home because the quality of the mental institutions are, is terrible. I didn't say goodbye to Rhea. It was too hard. They'll probably tell her I transfer schools and move away. I haven't talked to my boyfriend since my last diary entry. In fact, I've been ignoring him. I know I'm being horrible to them, but maybe it's better they never knew me. It hurts me to do this. I cry every night. Sometimes we need to be cruel so people can get disappointed, move on, and forget about us. I'm hurting them and myself. But their pain will pass, they'll move on, find someone else, and I want to believe they'll be okay. Things will never be okay for me again. Not because of my mood, but because of the illness. No one knows how to cure it, and no pills will help. 
The hallucinations will become more and more real, scarier and scarier, and there will be more of them. I don't want to think about it, it's too terrifying. Since I left the school, I'll have to study at home and focus on self-education. Starting the new year, my life will change entirely. Almost new year, boys. Almost new year. New year is coming soon, but unsurprisingly, I'm not in the mood. I think I made the right decision by distanc distancing myself from everyone. Take my boyfriend, for instance, our relationship will never have worked out. It's not because I'm bad or can't act normally, I'm not crazy. But relationships have goals, like starting a family. I look ahead and I don't want my children to experience what I'm going through now. It's better for both Rhea and him to move on in life. I'm getting incredibly bored these days since I'm not attending school, so I entertain myself by imagining various creatures. She's creating creatures. Of course, I could play video games all day, but I'm tired of that. When you're free to do anything, it's hard to enjoy things that you once found pleasant after some time. Oof. I, I know that feeling. <laughs> the new year has already passed. Mom and I celebrated it together. Dad didn't even call, let alone visit. Honestly speaking, I'm not that mad at Dad, but my mom is very angry with him and doesn't want to see him. Wait, so our parents are in divorce? I think they were divorced. Like, he was talking about mom and mom alone. So I guess that is real. He found a new family and left us. It's not that he found a family. He just found some young girls. Okay, there you go. There you go. I understand that my mom is very disgusted by this and that he left us for his own pleasure, but I think she needs to move on in life. By that, I mean find a new man who will love her and move on. The only problem is my presence. I completely ruined that possibility. Yet my mom loves me very much. Despite this and works hard for my sake. But what's the point of all this when I don't have a future? Okay, so um, we have a single mother. That's why I think it would have been better if I didn't exist. Oh shit. I don't want to write this hero diary anymore, because I see no point. Honestly, I see no point in writing here either. I feel so bad that the only thing I can do is throw the... Shit. The hallucinations are getting scarier, but I'm used to them. Sometimes I hear voices, but they're more like noise. My psychiatrist prescribed my, me antidepressants and anti antipsychotics, but she note, noted that they might have side effects. On top of that, I can't sleep at night, so I've also been prescribed some sleeping pills. But one sleeping pill usually doesn't help, so I take two, and now it seems I consume the damn pills instead of food, which aren't helping. I mean, they cost a lot of money, and my mom stays late at work more often. She changed shifts, and I barely see her now. I feel terrible because I fear that these voices will become more than just noise and I start listening to them. I don't want that. I don't want anything. Are those voices the god girl? Well, hello diary. Yes, I wrote earlier that I wouldn't write like this, but who cares? I drew some works and will pass them into you now. I hope you like it. What is this? Are those Pokemons? Oh yeah, drawings. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's her! <gasps> She'd work, blah blah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, is this Morana? It looks a lot like her. Was it familiar with her before? Why well, didn't she tell me about it? Or even then, was she with me because my mom couldn't be? Is the schizophrenia kicking in? This girl's it this girl's imagination is just god girls. But why didn't I write about this even in the diary? I look in her direction. She was still asleep. Right where she was. I need to ask her about it. 
about it after I finished reading everything. I opened the diary again and continued reading. Yo, some guy with broken English plays Yakuza, part one. Not on 2018 though. <laughs> what perspective? Ah, this is the character. We are reading our diary right now. Today, kind of, we are white and pink for what I know. Today, kind of fight with my mom. She called me a mistake, said I do nothing, and that I'm a burden, and called me stupid. I understand she said it out of emotion, but she was telling the truth, and only the truth. I have no friends, no job prospects with such a diagnosis, and all I do is take pills that cost an incredible amount of money and don't even help. I can't even talk to anyone. I can't tell strangers on the internet about my diagnosis. People do that all the time these days. It would look like I want pity. I just want to confide in someone. Dude, we reached to the point that calling up someone is schizophrenic. It's a normal thing on the internet. Internet is getting weird. But what's the point? If I cry, will everything suddenly become good? No. Nothing can help me now. And I need to accept that. At least Ria was right to suggest I keep a diary. Thank you, Ria. Without the diary... I will kill myself a long time ago. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Hello and goodbye at the same time, diary. I decided today to overdose on all the pills prescribed to me. I see no point in living and trying. I don't want any of this. Fear greeted me and I felt goosebumps. On this exact day, I decided to end my life. I fully understand my actions. Even now, it's hard to imagine what I've been through. These hallucinations probably push me to the decision, no matter how hard I try, there's no helping me. Not in any way. Okay, that should not be the main focus right now. What's important to me now is to find out who she really is and how her drawing could have been in my diary. I close the diary and approach Mor Morgana. So basically, everything was fine until we, we got diagnosed with schizophrenia and then everything went to the shitter. Our dad left our mom just to date some high school girl. And our mom hates us because we're doing nothing with our life because we have chronic depression. And now we, the goth girl is, is on the, in the diary. Wake up! She ignores me and doesn't wake up. I felt ghost bumps again. I couldn't breathe. I'm really scared to touch her. I don't know. I'm very afraid. I can't see her face while she's sleeping. It was covered by her hair. But I had another choice. I gathered courage and touched her. She quickly grabbed my hand with her terrifying black hands. I still couldn't see her face. I tried hard to break free from her grasp, but these attempts were unsuccessful. Visions start in my eyes. I begin to see weird monsters laughing at me. Their voices echo loudly in my head and I can't say anything. Morana starts squeezing my hand tighter. Say whatever you want, a normal person doesn't have claw hands. Blue is Morana. Oh my god, how can someone be so stupid? Why are you so loud? I just can't anymore. Where is your intelligence? How can someone be like that? Haven't you tried thinking? I am not real, and even a fool would understand that, right? Even someone who hit their head a hundred times could figure that out. So what? She wants us to keep being crazy? Okay, so I don't even know who... I, th I don't know if we have a name for the main character. But pretty much, I'm gonna guess Gothker wants the main character to be schizophrenic or something. So she can live. We're gonna get some. We're gonna get some manga and chew bullshit over here. But the nonsense in the diary that you made up. Do you really believe all that? I understand it's a very sad story, but even this sad story is made up by you. Why invent such a tragic story for yourself, for a friend and a boyfriend? 
You hate the truth, don't you? Well, think about it again. Truth is, you never had any friends. You didn't have a Rhea or a boyfriend either. I trust the diary. You made them up. Just like you made me up. Oh, shit. Practically everything you wrote in the diary is not true, but fiction. Think about it again. You write in your diary about how your boyfriend and your friend ignored the fact that you suddenly disappeared. <laughs> what nonsense is that? Think if you really had friends and a boyfriend, they wouldn't know where you live? That sounds illogical. Very I live illogical. in Budia Street. Damn it, illogical. Do you really think they wouldn't visit you if you suddenly disappeared? Something like, oh, my best friend disappeared without telling me anything, and I'll just do absolutely nothing. Or, yes, I love her, but she disappeared, and I... I'll just accept it. That sounds stupid. Don't tell me you actually believe they would continue their lives with your disappearance. Even considering that you're in school and you are practically children who can't do anything in this situation, your friends or your boyfriend wouldn't abandon you. They would try to find you. Something might have happened to you. Do you understand what I mean? But unfortunately, all of this is just your imagination. No one is going to look for you. In reality, you're just a lonely girl with schizophrenia and a bunch of psychological disorders who doesn't leave her home. You've had this illness since childhood. You didn't go to kindergarten or school because of it. And your mom kept you at home. You hardly saw the sunlight in your life. Not that it's her fault. She was scared to let you out among people because you always acted strangely and other children always laughed at you and bullied you. Bully mentioned. Your father left your family not because of some student he found, but because of you. And you know it. It's all because of you. You've gotten too caught up in your own play. <laughs> I'm tired of being in it. I'm leaving. Stay by yourself and enjoy the solitude, since you love to suffer, right? Wow. Morana got up and left, slamming the door loudly behind her. She appeared upset, even though she was also angry. I'm somewhat confused by what she said. It doesn't fully register in my mind. Should I go after her? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Suddenly, I spotted a strange creature on my bed, looking at me with his peculiar eyes. What a cute creature! He's so adorable! I want to hug him and squeeze him to death. Who are you? I am you. <laughs> No. <laughs> no! This is a reflection of my twisted mind. I am you. And what are you doing here? I'm lonely and I'd like to make a friend with anyone. You know, real. Neither are you. Everything in this world is unreal. A simulation. What do you want from me? Just a bit of attention. We already got that, haven't you? Not enough. I am too lonely. Enjoy your survival. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go. Also, I don't want you to. Where to? Into the unknown. Don't be afraid. Why are you talking like this? I can't understand you at all. After her. After Morana? Yes. You leave me, like all the others. No one stays with me for long. Alright, I release you. Run. And discover the whole truth. Just the thought that I could help you warm my soul. I hope you'll be strong. You need to go after Morana now. But don't believe everything other creatures say. You shouldn't fully trust Morana either. Some want to scare you, but sometimes they tell the truth. Alright, 
Leave now. Good luck. Thank you. Oh my god, Resident Evil. I see a corridor, a long corridor. And directly opposite my room, another room. It's wedged open with various lines. That's odd. Well, maybe Morana went in there. At some point, I became fearless and pushed the door open. Oh god. If you have epilepsy, look away, I guess. I don't think there are words that could describe what I felt at that moment. I was dumbfounded. The smell was revolting and out of horror, I covered my face with my sweater. I don't understand who is this? What is this? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Freddy. It's Freddy. Suddenly, I hear the sound of grinding teeth coming from behind me and then something approaching. Oh, cholera. Why are you so afraid, darling? We can talk. Can't even turn your head. Am I that terrifying to you? You are insulting me with this kind of behavior. If you don't turn around in ten seconds, ten I will kill you. I am counting. Ten, nine, Oh my god! Eight. Seven, oh, Kulira! Six, five, four, Does this game has jump scares? Two, one. Oh my god! Good girl. Oh! Oh! Really what the actual. I don't know how to say this. I won't say any of them. Good girl. Oh, well, well. It's just a badass skull. Who do I see? A little girl lost in her own mind. Did you get lost, dear? It must have been very scary to see what you saw. I understand you like no one else. It's okay. Sooner or later, this was bound to happen. What you see is your mother. Or rather, what's left of her. Is mom dead? Ah, yes. Who did this to her? You asked, but right? <laughs> I don't believe you. You're not real. Well, you just said something quite obvious. Indeed, I'm not real. But to you, I am real. I'm your consciousness that has taken this form. Wait, wasn't this a school part of the computer game? Video games are real. Believe it or not. I don't need your trust. It's worthless. You're a sick person who should kill yourself. Average Twitter, average, not just Twitter, average internet comment. It's all your fault. Your fault that your mother has been decomposing for a week under her bed. If it weren't for you, she would be alive. And you, a criminal who deserves nothing but jail. But personally, I think it's better to kill yourself than to live a life like yours. Don't you think? Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. Your look, I know what it says. You don't just disbelieve me. You want to see evidence. Oh, you could have said so straight away. I will gladly show and tell you everything in detail. In the smallest details. So we're killing now? That's a good news, that's the good news by the way. You had a fight with your mom. You had been arguing quite a bit lately. Mostly about trivial things. And it no longer surprised you. You had gotten used to it. But at some point, your mom began to lose her mind with anger towards you. She got so angry that she started Hurling terrible insults at you. She kept repeating one word. Rich. Perhaps she said more. All you could hear was the echoing word. Rich. Let's talk more about how exactly you killed her. You don't remember? No? This game is cool. Why would you hate this game? Do you see the broken face on the floor? With that face. Still filled with flowers. You 
tried to kill her, she turned toward the window. Honestly, you hesitated at first. And after grabbing the human... That's because they are not real. They are just fiction. You seem to get a taste for it. I was telling you to do it in that moment. You know, that a bit of courage. Since you were always too timid to take bold actions. And at one point, after mustering a great deal of courage, you took a last breath before. Boom! Your mom had no opportunity to grasp what happened. But you missed when you threw the face. Like I said, you're not good at this. But wait, what happened next? Your mom looked at you, not fully comprehending what you just did. Scared, you ran to the kitchen. Or maybe you wanted to run away from home. I'm not sure. Your mom chased after you. Not understanding what was happening. You're in the kitchen. Your mom's in the kitchen. But there's a difference. You're standing next to a branded, huge, sharpened knife. Which you take in your hand. And you point it at your mother. Your mother, naturally, is in total shock. She tells you... Don't do anything stupid with a trembling, frightened voice. You, like a complete rag, start to cry. <laughs> That's very much your style. But then you even surprised me. Suddenly, your expression turned hateful, and you stopped crying. Before that, your mom tried to say something, to apologize, but you didn't hear those words. Everything was like in a fog. And what do you think happened next? I think you know and suspect what happened next. You plunge that huge knife into your mother's heart with momentum. Blood under pressure from the heart can enter the bronchi and trachea, causing blood to be coughed up. This can occur if the injury creates a passage between the heart cavity and the large vessels of the bronchi. I'm mentioning this because, after a few seconds of shock, your mother began to cough up blood and begged you for help. But you just watched it all happen. Emotionless. Moreover, as she pleaded with you to help, to come to your senses, you made it even worse. You began to finish her off with the knife, with fierce hatred. I counted 28 stab wounds, and you laughed. <laughs> you laughed very hard. With difficulty, you dragged her body to a room. Later, you washed the blood off the floor as if nothing had happened. You propped a rag against the door to stop the smell of the corpse from spreading, closed it, and never entered again. You're probably in shock, aren't you? Sits fucked. I don't know. I don't know where the truth lies. Am I really capable of such a thing? What if my mother is not real? <coughs> or was it not me? And this isn't my house at all. It's also strange. My head hurts. It hurts very badly. It's splitting. In the last second, I just saw darkness before my eyes and collapsed to the floor, hitting my head hard. I didn't wake up with the comfort of someone stroking my hair. In actuality, I woke up because of the terrible smell of the corpse lying next to me. I instinctively moved away from it, staggered to my feet, prop a towel against the door and close it. So wait, mom is dead for real?
there were no more monsters. And that red one was also gone. Wait, did we actually kill mom? Why you do this? I could consider myself safe, but what should I do? Calling emergency services was risky because even if I'm not a murderer, I may still up in jail. Should I check the medicine cabinet? Call someone? Or go to the kitchen? But for what reason? What else can I do? I honestly don't know. Sure. Small kid. She hadn't lied after all. There were many pills I didn't recognize, but I took some and put them in my pocket. The pills in my pocket didn't make me feel any better, especially since I don't know which ones to help. I feel hopeless. I want to cry. I want all this to end. I want everything to be okay. I don't know what the truth is or whose body is lying in my mother's bedroom. But the fact is, there's a body and I will be imprisoned. I don't want any of this. I want to hand a blanket sleep forever. After crying a lot, my eyes became much heavier and I wanted to sleep badly. I know I could forget everything if I slept. In my case, it was the best option. I lay down on my bed, comfortably covered with a blanket, and fell asleep instantly. Blue is Morana. Goth. Hey. Are you there? Wake up. Do you really think that sleep will solve all your problems? Yes. Sleep only helps to escape reality for a while, unfortunately. You're probably thinking that it would be better to not wake up at all. You might be surprised, but I think so too. Because I suffer from the fact that you're alive. I wish I could be free. I, I miss when the craziest shit we saw was a cat. Forget it. Game is cool. You can't help me anyway. I know you can't help yourself either. I thought there were no situations in life without a way out. But your situation, there is a way out. Honestly, but it's kind of a dead end. It's chosen when people think there's no other way. I feel sad for you. And sad to see you suffer. I'm speaking honestly, putting aside the image you've created of me. You just wanted to be healthy. Have a friend, a boyfriend, go to school. So many kids have these things, but don't appreciate them because they consider it normal. You, a lonely child, were very unlucky in life. You're actually smart and pretty, but your illness, unfortunately, you'll keep losing your mind more and more. And soon, you won't be able to distinguish we'll be coming into Ichiban. reality. I feel like I should help you. Even though you want to see me as a monster. It may seem untrue, but in the deepest corner of your soul, you wanted to be scared at that time. You wanted adrenaline? I don't In any case, monsters won't bother you anymore. And I'm sorry for yelling at you earlier. I don't know what came over me. I didn't mean to. I just wanted to help. We're alone now. The joke is schizophrenia, that's it. I know what you've been through, and you must have many questions. Like whose corpse is lying in the room? I'll tell you right away. What if the corpse is me? What if I am a ghost? It's your imagination, and I can't distinguish reality from your imagination. You must be feeling terrible right now. Let's go outside instead. Fresh air will help clear your mind. Okay. Let's, let's touch some grass. And the sky is likely to be especially beautiful. You've hardly ever gone outside before of your illness how do you like the idea sure i mean, i have another option let's take a walk okay 
We quickly got ready and went outside. My house looked very ordinary, surrounded by other houses that seemed abandoned. The streets were empty. Orana and I walked a bit away from the house and saw a huge field of dewy grass where we decided to lie down. What a beautiful sky. It feels like the stars are trying to talk to us. They twinkle so fast, as if they're sending a signal. Or is it aliens? I don't know, man. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. And the night air smells so wonderful, combined with this slight chill. Don't you agree with me? Yes, that's really beautiful. Yeah, sure. And that is what I'm talking about. I'm so glad we came out together. But unfortunately, it's not the only reason we left the house. We need to talk. Oh shit, mouse three removes the text. About you. About your dreams, regrets, and thoughts. It's very sad for me to say this, but the end is known. And I think you understand what I mean. I'm selfish, trying to sweet talk you when I myself want to break free from the shackles. I think you also believe this is the way out, right? No, I want to leave. I knew you'd answer like that. We're just saying. I must survive until Monster Hunter Wilds. Because I am you. And you are me. It's strange. I wanted to talk to you, but I don't know how to start the conversation. I guess I'm too anxious. I just feel sorry for you. And I don't know how to help you. There's nothing in the world that would help you, and I know how lonely you feel. But you're not alone. You had me after all. You always talked to me when you wanted to get something off your chest. You're a kind person who wouldn't hurt a Is she the diary? Is this the anthro diary? You take, I don't know. I mean, after this is Monster Hunter. But Alice must die. Even your mother, she... She was always too busy to talk to you. Video games will never fill the void inside you, and I understand how much your existence in the world torments you. Sometimes, I feel it would have been better if you were never born. Even in the event of your death, there's no one who would cry for you, right? That's the most saddening part. Usually it's only family and close ones who hold you back from the edge. But you? You have no one. I wish I could take your hand, the younger version of you, and lead you away from these problems. That version of you that still doesn't quite understand what makes them different from others to make you a healthy child imagine your life if that were true you would have a friend a boyfriend a loving mother and a very bright future it's what you always wanted more than anything in life but though these are simple things aren't they people on the internet they don't quite fill the void you have inside some just disappear without a trace. They delete their account forever, or they just remove you from friends. They start ignoring you as if you were never friends. They all leave. Absolutely everyone. No one will stay with you, and no one will truly worry about you. Though you, if I remember correctly, really cared for them. Sometimes it seems that all people are cruel by nature. They will betray you at the right moment to make it even more painful for you. Ayo was such an example for you. It's Ayo, not Ten. That's her nickname online. Because of your amnesia, you probably don't remember her. Perhaps it's for the best, but... Disappointed. I still need to tell you. Because I want you to have a better understanding of yourself. When you were a teenager, you actually had many friends online with whom you often spoke. And since you were children, you shared everything that happened in your life. 
You became friends with Ayo shortly before your 13th birthday. You became practically best friends, and you knew about Ayo's problems in life. Everyone had problems, and you worried about Ayo, and even cried when she was hurt, always trying to support her. When she was at the toughest moment of life and death, you saved her. But could she do the same for you? Obviously, she didn't do that for you. She just deleted her account at some point when you wrote to her about your problems. Since you knew her by heart, you easily found her new account. She added all the friends from the previous page there. All, except you. And she shared photos where she enjoys life. I can't imagine what you thought That's nasty. This. Sometimes, you even thought about writing to her. Ask what's wrong. Maybe there was a mistake. After all, you wanted to be friends with her. Even if she didn't want to support you, you still wanted to communicate with her, even without her support. That's how lonely you were. I think this has greatly affected you. You still, after years, follow her social networks, where she is happy. And it seems she's already achieved everything in life. I don't know if you're happy for her, or sad, or hate her. What do you feel for her? Happiness, you got everything. You're too kind to her. I think your kindness will be your undoing. You never know what a person is fighting with, do you? You might think she had reasons for such an act. You're very kind. But they couldn't stop thinking about something to us again, or maybe not. I won't ask. It was cool outside, but this girl was pleasantly chilling on the skin. I can't say I was uncomfortable. I wanted to fall asleep right on Morana's shoulder at that moment and never wake up. I feel very cozy with her. Suddenly, I remember a movie where a girl changed other people's lives for the better. Even though she was an introvert, she was happy for other people. I would like to be that kind of girl. To be positive and help others, despite everything not being great for me. Because in the end, other people also help her. Or, I would like to be a movie director and create movies that help people. Or write books. I love writing stories. You know, I could be a movie screenwriter in an alternate life. That sounds very interesting. Don't make me laugh. Many want it, but only a few achieve it. But, imagine how cool it is to come up with a story that deeply affects someone. Where it changes their life. It would be the greatest achievement of my life to change someone's life for the better. For the better? That's a subjective concept. Good and evil are subjective. Torrent the origins. That's the script she's thinking about. Well, I have a standard concepts of good and evil. Even so, everyone has different standards. What seems for the better to you might seem for the worse to many. But then how do I understand it? What is good in all senses? Not at all. Every person is different. What can you do? Someone engages in charity and for them it's good. While someone else kills people and considers it charity. As it frees people from a terrible life. And who do you want to be? Me? Well, you came up with quite the question. Can I handle it? I'm not so thoroughly thought out as a personality. Whatever you come up with, that's what I will be. I don't know. I think you could be a doctor. You're very calm and intelligent. <laughs> Are you kidding? Can you imagine me in that doctor's attire? <laughs> that's too funny. Haha, <laughs> yes. I imagine it. You really would be very amusing. Haha. <laughs> But you look so real, as if you have your own secrets and your unusual. Ambiguous, I would say. But I still haven't figured out what role you play in my life. You seem both good and bad at the same time. I don't know. Thanks for the compliment, but because you still can't decide who I am for you, you don't know yourself. How can you create a constant personality for me? 
By the way, how can I distinguish what's real and what's not? To distinguish, you need to think. Assume something. Think critically. What could really happen and what sounds illogical and unrealistic? Only in the end will you find out what's true and what's not. So, just believe what you believe. Actually, I'm very comfortable with you. I could probably spend a whole lifetime like this. It would be hard for me to part with you if I do. Do you know what? To myself. No, it shouldn't. You're liberating both yourself and me. You're doing a good thing. But we could lie and talk like and talk like this forever, couldn't we? I don't need anything more in life. Just a friend who can listen and support. And I can do the same for you. We can't talk like this forever. We'll run out of topics before an hour passes. Maybe you're right. Okay. Let's go home now. Okay. As soon as I set foot on the threshold, a storm of emotion suddenly overcame me. I began to think about my future. And each thought pierced me into pieces, knowing that I won't achieve anything in life. <laughs> I will be nobody. Such thoughts often bring me down to earth, reminding me of my worthlessness. What happened? Why did you stop? What are you thinking about? She just got real. I think. <sighs> What are you thinking about? Ah, you know, I was thinking about killing myself. I will decide to do it again. Why? Because I don't want to exist in the world. I don't want to grow up. I don't want to feel pain, disappointment. I'm a coward. A sensible decision. Thank you. For what? For freeing me. For no longer having to be obligated to you. But I'm doing it more for myself. I'm sad to say goodbye to you. Thank you for supporting me in the last minutes of my life. You're welcome. You imagined me to behave this way, didn't you? Apparently, you desperately wanted support and learned to control your hallucinations. Are you scared? A little. But it's not my first time doing this, right? I should be confident about it. But now, I'm thinking about what my life could have been. Maybe I can change for the better. To live life, enjoying every moment, to do what I like, and these thoughts disturb me. What if I'm making the wrong decision? What if everything could turn out differently? What if tomorrow everything gets better and I don't live to see it? No. How can everything be good for you? You will never cure your schizophrenia no matter how much you want it. Even if theoretically possible, you would still have mental disorders that would still serve as a catalyst for suicide. Or am I saying something wrong? Unfortunately, you're telling the truth. There won't be any magical moment, no person who will save me. There's nothing that will change me. But I still hope for it, do you understand? All this time, I've been living my days in hopes. Hopes that things will eventually get better. But it only got worse. And it's just as hard for me to make such a decision. I don't know what awaits me if I do it. I'm afraid of the unknown. I'm now also worried about possibly harming my family members, who might still be alive. What if I have someone, but I just can't remember them? I'm unsure. Should I do it? No! Suddenly, Mora took the pills from my pocket and started sobbing them in She's evil! Covering my mouth so I couldn't spit anything out, leaving me no option but to swallow them. I tried to resist, but I swallowed them, and nothing happened. My eyelids were closing when suddenly I heard someone entering the house. I heard footsteps, someone's voice calling me, or... As I was losing consciousness, a hand grabbed me, and my eyes opened again. I saw my mother's face. She looked shocked, probably crying. Quickly dialing something on her phone, shouting at me to hold on. I held on with all my strength. But at one moment, I... It's hard for me to say goodbye to you. I think we could always be together. Have fun, cook different dishes together, and admire the sky. 
I will miss you. Me too. You're really sweet. I like you. Although I wish you could stay with me forever, you're still part of your decisions. You've always been strong. Guys, can I play with you? Yes, of course, you can. You play a game. Close your eyes and count to 500. By that time, we'll hide and you can find us. Their looks seem very kind. Like they finally wanted to be friends with me. I count to 500, but they were all still there. Damn, I didn't think she could count to such high numbers. Count again. But guys, I already counted. You just don't want to be friends with me, right? You finally get it. Go away. We don't need crazies as friends. Oh, shit. Mom, the kids in the yard don't want to be friends with me. Those kids, they are a scam. You should know that, right? Don't listen to them. Can I play with mom? Oh dear, unfortunately no. I have to run to work now. But I promise when I come back, we'll play, okay? Okay. Ray, you're back. Mom, you promised to play with me. Darling, I'm so tired. Honestly, mom had a really hard day. I'll make some food now and we can lie down together. Is that okay with you? Okay. For a bit more than me, I fell asleep. I was left alone. Again. But I felt sad or I don't know what I felt. Maybe loneliness. I understand that mom has a lot of things to do and she's great at handling everything. But a little bit of egoism in me wanted some attention. Well, it's just you and me now. You're a blues, I know. But I really wish I could talk to you. All you can do is hug me though. I wonder why you have wings. Are you going to fly away from me too? Just kidding. I know you won't fly away. You're a simple plush. I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely that I cry and open my heart to a plush toy. Why does everything in life happen like this? Why can't everything just be good? I just don't understand. Why is there so much pain in living? Why? Why is every day agony for me? Why? Sorry. I can sleep again. Even your hugs don't help. As a child, I would fall asleep immediately just by looking at you. It's hard to live when the only escape from reality is sleep. And even that, you can get. Theo, you shouldn't do this to yourself. You're the best person I ever met. I know you might think badly of yourself, but I know you're a wonderful person. As soon as you grow up, you leave your parents' house, move into your own apartment, and you'll live well. Just wait. I really believe that you'll make it. You have to believe in yourself. I understand you. I understand you. I might be selfish, but I, it would be damn painful to lose you. You're the only person I've truly opened up to. Please don't do this. It's painful to see how cruel people can be. Watching me. <laughs> oh, what a way to kill the moment. Watching memes playing video games. I still cannot take seriously when a game talks about memes. Watching memes playing games, I wasted my life to at least slightly alleviate the loneliness. Probably my last hope became my hallucinations. hallucinations. I started to control them. Sometimes it worked. And sometimes my mind played tricks on me. Overall, I was happier than now. Over time, I got sick of playing games and interacting online. I cut off all ties with people. I read books, improved myself, drew, and tried to write stories. This game writes fan fictions. I wouldn't be surprised. But unfortunately, with each action, I wanted to kill myself. I didn't like anything I did. Every time it seemed like I was creating a terrible story. And the scariest thing was that I didn't know how to fix it. In the end, I burned out. I couldn't write or draw anymore. What's the point in a hobby if you don't enjoy it? I forced myself and felt only negative emotions. 
over time it will accumulate inside me like now Q the play you cannot do this this is for world, 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 world breaking we're wondering what is the truth and what is in the story right I really did try to end my life at the beginning I really lost my memory after the stress but unfortunately I was not very experienced and I first drank a weak sleeping pills Secondly, I took them in a relatively small amount, and thirdly, there is a small chance of dying from them. After that, I most likely made up a story, as like from one movie, where the main character wakes up every night and remembers nothing. The image of Morana has been in my head for a long time, I talked to her before. The ectos that Morgana gave, gave me was already prepared by my mom long ago. She always left me some food when she went to work. What else you might be wondering? Was my mom's corpse real? You think logically, in the game, it was said as if my mother didn't resist at all when attacking her with a knife. Any person would have a self-preservation instinct, right? Sometimes imaginations can be completely logical, and yet some people can believe in them. Nevertheless, in this ending, you find out that my mom is alive, and what I made up was a figment of my imagination. Even with schizophrenia, I can imagine smells. I mean, I really felt the smell of a corpse. The question arises, where was my mom? Where was my mom all this time? My mom works around the clock. That is, she may not return home for a whole day or even more. If I slept, it was something like fainting or just a very short sleep. Fainting lasts very, very briefly, by the way. So this whole story happened within a day. Most of all, I slept when I tried to end my life. That is, in the morning, and I woke up at night. I think that's all. This story may seem very strong in terms of depression and discussions of suicide. I want to address people who have reached this point in the game and have promising life. Please hold on. I understand, it's hard, but you have to hold on. I just want to say, don't do bad things to yourself. Love yourself. It's hard, I know, but please try to do it. I hope for that, at least. And I believe that you will make it. Just don't give up, please. Also, one last question. Did the main character die in the end? She will wake up in 10 hours. Good ending. The NC3 is over. We did it. She will wake up in 10 hours in the hospital with her mom, who was worried about her all this time. Good ending. She will love life after waking up. She will clearly understand that her mom actually loves her, and she won't want to cause her that pain again. She doesn't want to see her scared face again. And her main character will try to keep going. She will never give up again, and so it will be hard. She will eventually find people she can communicate with, because not all people are bad, right? She will make her career in filmmaking, and she will get support online, and finally come to harmony with herself. Congratulations, you completed the game with a good ending. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, and that you'll really be kind to other people. Thank you for playing the game. This was great. There are multiple endings. I also want to say a big thank you to some people. Without them, That name. Lauren Kong, Morana, Levente Tar, Demon, Editing. Those are the guys. It was fine. Quick, boys, five minutes to reform. Do it. <laughs> I want to take other endings. Thank you again. It was fun. Goodbye, and please take care of yourself. Okay, as you said, time for Toho 8. You know, I'm an Android. I just obey. Give me a second. Okay. Not that one. No. Not that one. What is it? Okay, the man talk, do it. Who's playing? We don't care.
Okay, who's playing? There you go. Ticket ending. Oh, okay, whatever. We'll do it sometime, don't worry. We'll do that sometime, don't worry, I guess. We just, um... The game was nice, I mean... There's nothing to load, I guess. We have quick saves. Um... Yeah, cool hazy mine. Now we need to get other endings. Give me a second. I have, like... 10 achievements left. Get it. Five hidden achievements. Okay, let's try to get other achievements or nothing. Who are you? It's control. Well, I have to confess, I feel a twinge of disappointment. Because you see, when we begin to explore your old belongings, you'll likely face a deluge of emotions. And this emotional onslaught, it could simply shatter you, triggering a panic attack and potentially causing you to faint. And moreover, your mother was quite insistent that you take these pills. I wouldn't want to face her wrath if you don't. Mexican. So, I'm going to ask you one last time. Are you absolutely sure you won't take them? No. It's odd, really. In the past, you've... I am disappointed. I, don't see I disappointed Morana. But now, for some reason, you've decided to reject both my... Yeah, let's... And Fuck Morana, mother. dude. I find it deeply saddening. Because I am responsible for you, and I bear the weight of your actions as well. But I won't impose on your decision. So be it. No pills for now. We'll still inspect your room, though. I made a promise, and I intend to keep it. You will see every nook and cranny of your space. But before we can embark on that journey, you need to get out of bed. I see that it will be difficult for you to... Give me your hand so I can help you rise. Okay, it's the same thing. Where's my mom? Honestly, I don't know. She's working. I don't see her when I visit you. It wouldn't be right for me to ask where she is because she is my boss. So I cannot fully answer that. But I think she is working hard for you. Do you have any other questions? You have a disrupted sleep pattern, falling asleep during the day and waking up at night. It seems this, this is a silly song. Ever since you left school, you've been very neglectful of your sleep routine. Now you face the consequences. Do you have any other questions? I'm not even sure whether to take that as a compliment or not. If, in your understanding, strange means unconventional, then I am actually quite impressed. I always want to make an intriguing impression. Not a pleasant one, but an interesting one. Because to leave a pleasant impression on people, you often have to just nod along with them. You're probably wondering about my makeup, right? I love to experiment with my face and try out different looks. So far, this is my favorite. You should enjoy life and do what you like without worrying what others think. Want to wear weird makeup? Go for it. Want to wear odd gloves? Put them on. Yes, people might give this you... This was me on the Jaguar of Five drinking yes, game. they might judge, but so what? People who pass you by won't remember you in 10 minutes. And I won't stress about it. Those unfortunate two minutes of judgment can be endured. It's true what they say. People love to talk about themselves. Sorry. Do you have any other questions? 
Were you even listening? I literally just told you a minute ago that I love makeup. I think that's enough questions from you for now. Let's proceed to inspect the room. Nothing is different. Is there something secret to click? Look for the peace drawer. Do we have that? This no. You can continue looking around. Yo, I found the skip. I found the computer skip. Another Yeah, we're crazy. We see cats and we lose our mind. You can't skip anymore. What? Wake up. Oh my god. Well, they're here, so what's up? Suddenly, I spot the strange creature on my bed, looking at me with a peculiar eye. Well, it's the same thing. Wait, is this the same thing? Are you leaving already? Everyone leaves. I'm not surprised. You're not an exception. Fine. I release you. Go on. Let's be careful, okay? Okay. Follow Morana. I'll return to this creature later. Don't open the door. Skip in. You can't skip the door. There's no door skip. Long corridor. I don't believe you, my friend. So, you remember? Wow. I didn't know your memory worked even a little. Amazing. <laughs> really amazing. Astonishing. Astonishing. How many endings are in here? I guess we have good ending, bad ending, and UFO ending, most likely. I think you only skip what you already seen. Uh, call 911. Where I say the phone was on the table. I found a small phone there. You are cool. Because you choose that, I really mean that you are cool. She hadn't lied after all. The phone is charged. I even managed to dial 911. Damn, no signal. Or maybe this phone doesn't have a SIM. It's a SIM card. Damn, damn, damn. I'm in deep trouble. What should I do? How can I get out of here? I was ready to... Uh, we can escape. I was ready to go to jail. Just to stop feeling afraid. I'm left with nothing to do. I feel hopeless. I want to cry. It's too late. Oh, they're going to be okay. The fact is, there's a body. And I will be imprisoned. On any of this. I want to hide under a blanket. I already see this. What's the best option? I lay down on my bed, comfortably covered with a blanket, and fell asleep instantly. We're sleeping, boys. Let's go. No, I don't want to be here. Strange. I understand you. I but hate being you outside. You really don't trust me. Honest, we didn't just come outside to enjoy the weather. We need to talk about you. About your dreams, regrets, and thoughts. It's very sad for me to say this, but the end is known. And I think you understand what I mean. I'm selfish, trying to sweet talk you, and I myself want to break free from the shackles. But I think you also believe this is the way out, right? 
Yes, I understand that. Thank you for being honest with me. I appreciate it. It's strange. I wanted to talk to you, but I don't know how to start the conversation. Hey, Brit. I understand you. What do you mean I'm finished? Way, but we finished the game. Strange answer from you. Have you changed? Before you felt either sadness or joy, and now, out of everything, you chose hatred. My name. Though maybe it's emotions. I understand. Text at the end. Well, it's called ending. It's called ending. What body? I saw a curve there. It's a real fiction. I don't know. You're asking an imaginary friend what's real and what's fiction. Secret ending. Are you really okay? Besides, I already told you, I don't know. I'm just not sure. Well, then you're not sure. Forget about it for now. If there really is a person there, you can't save them anyway. Enjoy the last few minutes of freedom before you get put in jail. Okay. No. How can everything be, even if theoretically possible, you would still have mental... Say the same thing. I'm struggling to understand my feelings, unsure what to do next. I quickly turn around and headed to my room, gently closing the door behind me. I crave some solitude and need to sleep. So those two day developer that you you cannot escape what you haven't seen. My head is throbbing terribly, almost as though the entire day has been nothing but a string of hallucinations. I closed my eyes. My eyelids were closing, as I was lost in consciousness. I held on with all my strength, but at one moment I for me to say goodbye. Have fun. We see this already. I really tried to end my life at the beginning. I really lost my memory after the strengths. But unfortunately, not the experience. It was good for me, I can imagine smells. I mean, I really felt the smell of a corpse. If I slept, it has something like fainting or just a very short sleep. Fainting lasts very briefly, by the way. The story happened within a day. Most of all, I slept when I tried to end my life. That is, in the morning, and I woke up at night. I think that's all. It's very, very, very strong in terms of depression and discussing suicide. Well, that's We are dead now, right? Yes, he died. Oh, oh! Congratulations, you completed the game with a bad ending. I actually hope you enjoyed. Bad ending. So, uh. I guess if you're an asshole. I mean, I just, I just literally told Morana I want to fucking die. Okay, we go again. <laughs> Pro tip, boys. If you tell the character that you want to fucking die. Are you okay? Buster Wolf! I can see your gaze fixed on me. And I will check the Ukrainian voices when we get all the endings. Please respond to me in some way. If this continues, I might have to insist that you take the pills. In such a situation, I can't afford to delay, and I must ensure you take them. You're currently in an abnormal state and need to regain your senses. I will give you three of the antidepressants in the hopes of bringing you back. I sincerely hope you're not playing some kind of prank on me, because if so, it's not funny. The effect of the pill will kick in soon. 
so I need to help you up so we can start exploring your room. It's crucial. Yeah, they give us a Granian. If you can understand what this right now, you know Granian. And you'll regain your usual demeanor. Although, perhaps you are finding it hard to trust me, which I find unlikely. Yeah, it is a one project guy. He, he know, Minomi is also voicing the characters and everything. He did everything in the game. Always trusted me in the past. So, extend your hand to me, and I will help you stand. Hello, what's this? Uh, we are just be we we're getting every ending now. <laughs> he made three minutes ago. <laughs> well, I can't. What is this? Uh, this is a cool game that no one likes. Nice, nah, the game's awesome. We like it. It's a it's a visual novel about suicide and schizophrenia, pretty much. We are getting every ending now. All right, that's enough questions from me. Let's move on to inspecting the room. Well, I'll step back now, and you can hover the cursor and click on the items that interest. Yeah, now how this works? No. Yeah, yeah. Sweet and short. I mean, I wouldn't call this sweet. It's depressing. Fear with me. The game is nice. I mean, it's cool. Wake up. Skip! Uh oh, they're laughing at me. Yeah, we know everything. Go to the kitchen. I couldn't quite remember where exactly Moran said to go. You got visual. <laughs> RPG Maker visual novel. Fuck yeah, dude. I mean, you have... Um... You have software to do visual novels, but I guess if you want to do the move around and RPG elements, I guess you need RPG Maker. Go straight down the corridor and take a right. Left. Stuff. Yeah, they have fun in there, dude. Have fun in the con. Mechanics. RPG Maker XP is really easy to get. Like, the most basic thing, it's really, really easy. It becomes a harder if you really want to do, you know, the complex things, like cool mechanics. Like, if you want to do a funger, it, you know, you need the scripts and cool things. But the, the game even gives you the basic assets to do something. It's really simple. It's not even hard. Once you get the hand of it. We have a knife now. Let me take it. I have no idea what to do or how to get out of this situation. I have nothing. Absolutely nothing. I feel hopeless. I want to cry. I want all this to end. But we know about this. Let's go. Ah, uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Sadness. I thought about it too. It's just sad that it happened this way. But no, I'm always here to listen to you. Even if I'm fictional and a figment of your imagination, I really want to take care of you. Was with them, if I'm not mistaken. You told me earlier that you were. Oh, she's gonna talk about the fingers now. I may be wrong, but that. Yes, I remember. These are gloves. Well, hands are burnt. That's why I wear gloves. I don't want you to see that. My hands oh, yeah. are terrible. I know Hylix. It is indeed a game. A fire, obviously. Don't I've never heard such a foolish explanation, but they get it, definitely get it. Such questions. You look so real. Don't do it. Oh 
Oh shit! The evil clown took over my body. Suddenly, Morana took a knife and stabbed me right in the heart with all her strength. This is loud. Strangely, at first, I didn't understand what she had done. This is strange feeling. And then I start pain. As if I have, as if I was stabbed with all the knives in the world, I start to feel an insane pain inside. I see crimson blood on my hands. I feel the blood creeping out my lungs, taking away my last hopes for life. I'm dying. My eyelids were closing as I was losing consciousness. I held on with all my strength, but at one moment I... It's hard for me to say goodbye to you. So what? I guess it's just a suicide. I guess we stab ourselves with a knife. Retitled my life at the beginning. I really lost my memory after the stress. Yeah, it's the same thing. Maybe that will be explained other endings in the good one. Yeah, hold on in life, boys. I'm gonna show you a good, a good, a positive message after this, don't worry. Don't make it, just don't give up, please. Congratulations, you complete the game with a neutral. We stab ourselves in the heart, how is that a neutral ending? What made you play this dude? Uh, I don't, I'm, someone else is gonna answer that. You guys hate the game. I'm gonna show you a good positive message. Boys, I'm gonna show you a really, really good positive message. Give me a second. This is like a, in, the game in summary. Your life is everything. This is not the one I wanted. Fuck you. Hide the human. What is he? Guys, love yourself. <laughs> there it is. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> if you look in the mirror and hate yourself, love yourself. Yes, you should love yourself now. Yes, you should. Because I do. Okay, what made me play this game? Uh, my number said, Visual Nobel, there's a gold girl, play it. And I say, fuck it. I say, fuck it, let's do it. Guys, love yourself. That's all I gotta say. If you look in the mirror and hate yourself, love yourself. Yes, you should love yourself now. Yes, you should. Because I do. Do you guys really hate the game? Do you guys really hate the game? The game is cool. I mean, it's depressing. It's like a short story. Uh, two achievements. Why are you asking these questions? Are you stupid or what? And so you did not listen. Don't worry. Everything is all right. I understand. And four hidden achievements. Okay, let's try to keep. Let's try to get them. Hurrah! Who are you? Eat. At the end, you just fall asleep again. So we'll spend the whole day here, and by lunchtime, it's it, it just a visual novel about suicide and schizophrenia. That's pretty much it. You will again remember nothing. It's a really solid one. But progress is made each time. Your psychiatrist says that it will end soon, as soon as you come to terms with your past. Do you have any other questions? Uh, 
So I guess we need to get So I guess we need to ask her the same things over and over again. Give me the ending. Oh my god, wake up. Oh. Okay. Oh shit. It's a school man. Kitchen, and now we go to the right. I guess it was the wrong answer. We had some achievement. I should take a left to find the kitchen. Not find the fridge. Let's go. Happiness. Oh shit! Oops, I lied. I hate that you didn't listen to me. Okay, she hates me this ending. She had done stage feeling. Sharp pain. So it's the same ending, but now you would not see me, I guess. I'm dying. I found peace. Thank you for playing the game. Give it another shot and avoid making poor decisions. So this is the worst ending. God of Hazy and Mind. <laughs> God of Haze and Mind is the final boss. But uh, I guess it's the worst ending. Avoid making poor decisions. Worst ending obtained. Okay, let's, let's we go again. Let's do one thing now. Well... Okay. Where's my mom? Just real one. No answer. You should ask your mom about that. I think. So I think every I think I have three achievements left, and they are secret. So I, I guess there are different endings. Yeah, three hidden achievements. We need to find. To, we need to look for them. And why are you asking questions I don't know the answer to? <laughs> no, I'm playing. Uh, is, is it playable? Oh, yeah, it's playable. No, I'm playing with the girl with the hands on her pockets. Okay. Okay, boys, I need ideas for endings. I have one. Wake up. Go well, after here, I guess. Okay. Yes. Let's go. Hatred. Do it. With uncertainty, I still took the pills and tried to swallow them in an excessive amount. Suddenly, I felt a change in my mind and I began taking out of pills quickly. I don't know what's happening to me, but my wish to die was very strong, so I let it happen. After swallowing them hard, I waited for this moment, this moment of death, but it never came. Or maybe this moment will be later? Oh, shit. My eyelids were closing as I was losing consciousness. I held on with all my strength, but at one moment I... Worst guy. Let's say I got the same ending. Um, we have three hidden achievements. And what could they be? I guess we can do saves. Need to take two pills to ensure everything goes smoothly. Nothing adverse will happen. Just take. I've noticed a. Sh Please, you must tell me. I'm all right. However, I see that it will be difficult for you to get up. Give me your hand so I can help you rise. The suicide. Are you a real person? 
Is there something secret here? Oh shit. No, no games. Ticket ending, video game ending. Yeah! I was so good that it was your last Yakuza game. Oh, well, I did it, I beat it. They just notes and fun fictions. Where are the other endings? Wake up. Okay, let's save here. I don't even know what options is le are left to do. Pretty sure you can. G give me a moment. Pretty sure you can do it. I mean, you need the scripts. Those things change the game for it, for many reasons. With the scripts, you can do anything. I mean, I guess there is bad. Let's go. I'm just clicking random things now. I can only skip the text, but it's in another language. Oh shit! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's listen to Morana now. Nice dude, how about a wrestling game about music? <laughs> you fail, you die. The ultimate wrestling game. That's it, man, guys. I don't want to I don't want to see the guy tell me you do this and that. I want to explore on my own a little bit. Yeah, but you can do many things with RPG Maker. I don't know, it's just he hates me. Let's say to explore, but I'm gonna decide to do options, maybe a combination of options to get them. He's just more evil with this Ukrainian voice. Everything has guys, you know. I want to listen to Morana. 
I just want to listen to the voices. Mama! Mama! Miss Fortune. Oh shit. Okay, I found the skip with intro and left click to go faster. Oh my god, we have now it. Uh, call the cops. Hey, ти тут? Прокинься. Ти дійсно думаєш, що сон вирішить усі твої проблеми? It's her. На жаль, сон допомагає тікати від реальності лише на деякий час. Uh, this, this game has four languages, but I think it's only English and Ukrainian when it comes to voice acting. Тебе може здивувати, але я теж так вважаю. Silence. Yeah, voices uh English and this one. Speak Тому Russian. що я страждаю. Because that's the language. Забудь. Я думала. Okay, let's, let's put a uh, uh, here. Так. There you go. Because now I think we can skip text now. Oh, shit. I hit the start. I'm alright. Where's my mom? So, I honestly don't know where, where else to look. I guess I can pull out the guide after a while. So we can enjoy every ending or every option. Wake up. Oh, the hell, why not? Okay. Kitchen is bad. And... And cell phone does nothing. Yeah, I remember that video too. No. I mean, I'm gonna guess maybe the other achievements are not ending related, maybe. But more so about specific options because some, some achievements are just one option, do this option, do this thing, do that thing. I just fully explored the game. Okay, at least I got the guide if I really want. Whatever. Not ending, but ending achievements. Look at this guide, what is this? Bad ending. Oh shit. Playthrough 4 Run away and dreams endings So wait, there are more endings So we have two more endings, how do we get these endings boys? Okay, boys, let's do this thing. We must consume thy pills. Consume thy pill. This one. This one. And this one. Yes. Oh, this to get the game achievement. I feel dirty using a... Oh, no. No, please! Fake gamer. 
go after here. I'll go to the yeah. kitchen. Okay, so we need to go after here and go to the kitchen. Wake up. Go after here. Okay. So. Oh, this is what you need to do. Kitchen left, so we take the knife. Oh, shit. Let's go. It's truly really beautiful. And we're supposed to say. So, this is the, the branch between the endings. We do this thing. Hate is important. I won't ask. And this is how you get an ending. So you need to do these options, these uh, answers. You need to do this epic combination of hatred. Oh shit. Out of the blue, Morana grabbed my hand and pulled me into the room. Without saying anything, she lay down on the bed. I lay down next to her. She held me tightly and I carried on her shoulder. I don't want to die. And I want to stay forever with her. I want to have fun again. To have her conform me when I'm feeling bad. To be with her forever. Is that possible, or am I just imagining it? I want to stay forever with you. Me too. I love you just the way you are, and I want to always support you. It's so strange. I'm laying here with you in an embrace, but I still feel your warmth, your breath. Are you really real to me? I wish you were real. Not just a figment of my imagination, but a real person. I wish I was real too, but I'm not. You oh shit. I still want to stay with you forever. You're the only one who understands me and will never leave me. You're not like other people. People are horrible. All of them. I understand, but not all people are bad. There are real people who will support you and love you. You just haven't found them yet. They might be out there right now, doing something at this moment. Maybe they're also going through difficulties. But at some point in your life, you'll need them. And your life will change forever. You're just lonely, and that's why you're so attached to me. But in reality, there are many good people on this planet. You just have to step out of your comfort zone. Go outside. Enjoy the moments in nature without making excuses for yourself. Without seeing yourself as the problem. If you like to come up with stories, you should find people who are also interested in that. And discuss movies that you find interesting with them. People are social beings. They need interaction to not go crazy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. But I don't have the strength for all that. I feel like I'm not capable of human communication. I'm much more comfortable with you. Of course you're comfortable with me. Because I'm a product of your imagination. I behave the way you want me to. But can we just lie here in silence for a little while? Of course we can. So we fell asleep. Dreams are the only escape. I just don't want to change anything in my life. That's an achievement. So we fell asleep. I don't know what will happen next, but I definitely felt cozy in Morana's arms. Dreams are the only escape. There it is. Escape ending. So that's it, you refuse to change anything. You remain insane with Goth This is the Goth Girl ending. Um, now the other ending is... What? No, I don't think this is the way out. No, wait. We're gonna type... No, that's her name! Ah, Morgana is over here, right? Yeah! <laughs> um. No, I don't think this is the way out. I'm just saying that, but deep. Hatred. I want to ask. I want to stay forever with Me you. Too. I, I messed up. 
<laughs> okay, that's the dream sending. I need to chase. I understand you. Think. And hatred. I want to ask. I'm very glad that I could spend more time with you. But we can't always be together. We must make a choice. Run away? Yes, exactly. We must run away together. Do you want to run away with me forever? Yes. We can always live together and run as long as we have the strength. But what kind of life is it to constantly run, hide, and seek refuge from problems that will always catch up with us? If we are found, we will have to run again and again. This road we're on seems endless, and every turn just takes us further into emptiness. Every choice is a new ending, a new path to hopelessness. I've always wanted to run away from all my problems, to hide somewhere where no one can find me. But what kind of life is that? Fleeing, exhaustion, despair? We can find new places, meet new people along the way, but what does it change? New Horizon seems so empty and joyless. We can start everything anew, but deep inside I feel it's all in vain. Dreams of freedom. Who is Nahobino? <laughs> Who is Nahobino? We can make our own rules, but in reality, we're just wandering. World. <laughs> Trying to escape our Don't laugh, ways. serious moment is happening. We look for joy in little things, but deep down we understand that it doesn't bring comfort. We can be together, but this togetherness is just Yeah, that doesn't look like a globe in the void. Are you ready to walk this shadowy road with me? Then let's continue our journey to nowhere. Together. They turn away together. Man. The blue man. The main character's name is Nahobino. I cannot believe I got the good ending first try. I like how you get endings that it says nothing. It says you 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 fucked up. Try again. Now start. Wait, how you get there? Wait, am I missing something? How do I get Secret Agent? How do I get the last achievement, Secret Agent? I'm supposed to start a new game. Oh, shit, look at this lore! Best of Simulator. You have some really cool classes. I never got some cool shit like that. Doing a sculpture and shit. I'm missing an achievement. Let me choose Nahobino. Nahobino. Wait, the main character is called Nahobino. Really? <laughs> That's his name? What a name. Nahobino! <laughs> Nahobino! Wait, let me close the game open the game. I'm supposed to get an achievement by just starting a new game. Yeah, sadly I didn't have cool classes like sculpture, drawing and shit like that. I got boring shit. The last achievement is not triggering. Sent to join the 
<laughs> Epic Buddhist Devil, that's something. Nineteen achievements. Well, I'm missing. I'm missing one. I'm missing one hidden achievement. Oh shit, boy! Someone is lying. Did I know the secret ending? Uh, wait, give me a second. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 19, 16, 17, 18, 18. It's just 19. I have 18 out of 19. You are a secret agent, but it's not here. Wait, this this is that this tw there is twenty achievements, but the game says there's nineteen, so I guess there is a one missing. I'm getting lost. I think I think you're right. Because now in this page, there is the... That achievement is not here. 19, but I think I have 18 out of 19, so which one am I missing? Design. I mean, Mara has an interesting design, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm just checking out the achievements. I think I know the one I need. It's just called Y. What's the in progress, boys? But no one's telling me how to get. It's all the devil. It's all the, the demon. Oh shit. Worry, boys, I'm doing progress. They will all, they will use. Good roll noises. Okay, I got it now, boys. Who wants to get the last achievement? Well, shit, call. Yeah, they're gonna use gore shit. 
They will use Gorshit for Shin Megami Tensei 6. Oh, sorry, Persona 6. Shin Megami Tensei 6 will have nothing because no one cares. <laughs> Oh shit. You are insignificant. Do you think you're the smartest one here? Do you really believe, little girl, that you make any difference in this story? That you are the most important? No. You won't fool anyone. You pretend to be the smartest, failing to answer questions properly right from the start. Did you think this wouldn't affect the story? Or were you hoping to achieve... Oh, they're the breaking the fourth wall. ...without making decisions? There is no neutral side. Not anywhere. Your decisions led to consequences. Just trying not to offend anyone, or simply being stupid, won't guarantee a good ending in the game. In life, too. You have to make decisions, and believe me, they have a greater impact than those you make in a game. But looking at you, I think you don't make decisions in real life either. When asked your name, will you just remain silent like a complete idiot or what? I just hate stupid people or those who show resistance. Oh shit! As I said it before, I hate stupid people. You played the game's worst ending. Worst ending obtained. Congratulations, sheep. Thank you for playing the game. Give it another shot and avoid making fool decisions. There it is! Every achievement, except the last one because it's gone. Okay, I need lore. Why is the last achievement gone? Why did the achievement go on? I guess we will never know. It was shit, nah. No. I mean, the guide says that you just need to do a new playthrough. Okay, let's investigate. But how do I find that? Let's go to, uh, I don't know, um, Punto de Encuentro. <laughs> you hit it. <laughs> and one was shit. One was shit. What do you mean one was shit? The secret ending has been removed and the script has been slightly modified. I received a lot of feedback concerning the secret ending and the game in general. I realized that I've made mistakes after speaking with individuals who have experienced the mental health issues discussed in the game. I revised the script to be more sensitive and accurate. I apologize for the initial decision to include that content and without your feedback I wouldn't have realized the impact. I am grateful that you guided me to the right decision. So, what's the ending? Suicide is awesome? Talking shit about mental health and the David deleted cause reviews. <laughs> Talking shit about mental health? <laughs> wow. Wow. I fell in love with Morana, and then I understood that I have schizophrenia. 11 out of 10.
So that's what we got. Issues with the Japanese localization. Music stopped. I mean, I enjoyed the game. The game was fine. I think it's, you know, it's sword, just a sword visual novel. The people with schizophrenia are well portrayed. <laughs> it was nice. I mean, I personally enjoyed it. I know you guys hate it because I'm the one playing that. Uh, I want to see the comments. I have no idea. Uh, okay, let's try to look it for you, too, maybe. Oh, by the way, the true ending. Guys, love yourself. That's all I gotta say. If you look in the mirror and hate yourself, love your self. Yes, you should love yourself now. Yes, you should. Because I do. Your turn to die. Oh, I think I'm gonna just uh, kill people. Hey, see my uh, secret ending. I can't find that because I'm barely seeing content of Hazy Mind. And this is a really tiny game. I really don't have enough content, maybe. And then you have things like, you know, why are the cutest girls always the craziest? This girl got some problems, Hazy Mind. Trap in your mind, Hazy Mind. And the top of this will be the secret finale in which the author somehow explains the meaning of the novel with wonderful science of death. You just need to love yourself and go outside, touch her. So you're telling me the secret ending is literally go outside. You're telling me the remove ending is just literally saying schizophrenia it's nothing, go outside and touch some grass. Okay, I understand. I understand that as a joke ending, but I, I, I think it's out of touch for what the game is supposed to be. <laughs> for what the game is supposed to be, it's really out of touch, especially for something that says, we talk about suicide, what's out? Also check out this shit. Also look how out of touch I am. She'll take care of you, don't mind the clothes, hey see my demo, boom. Hey see my visual novel. So this is me look out of touch. Hey see mine, full game playthrough. To trust or not to trust, visual novel, no commentary gameplay, boom. Hey see mine, full look at the look appreciate the thumbnails too. With mine. <laughs> hey see mine, full game demo playthrough. Hey see mine gameplay PC. Hey see mine, the first 15 minutes of gameplay. Where the cutest girls? Always the craziest. Some Spanish content. I don't know these people. No more video comparing ninguno de estos juegos de mesa. Whatever. Um, the girl. This girl got some problems. Trap in your mind. Hazy mind. Depression. What, what song is this? Oh, Kiowa Diamondo. Dude. Kiowa Diamondo. Do you know what that means? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so basically, okay, I'm reading what you're saying, don't worry, but pretty much the developer got break the fourth wall just telling something like telling the basic shit that people laugh at. Like, oh, dude, how about if you go outside? How did you feel better with yourself? Even though people had like see real mental problems, don't feel sorry for yourself. Or I don't know 
what can help her? And I think that is the only way out of her. Oh shit. Oh yeah, if you are depressed, if you are sad, stop being sad. An addition that uses the schizophrenic character of selfiness and the desire to be heard. That was the ending was and got deleted. So pretty much the ending was dog shit. It's just I mean the secret ending is just basically the, 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 the secret ending is literally Don't be sad. Also hello Tyson. You just missed the entire game by the way. <laughs> Yes, what's up, dude? Wow, that's that's really out of touch for what the game, for what the message is supposed to be and the game it's supposed to be. That feels extremely out of touch. Like, stop being sad, dude. Yeah. The hell, yeah. That sounds really sad. That sounds. I mean, good thing it got deleted. Like, honestly, that feels really out of touch. You see, this is me to the auto, to the secret ending. To get kill you. <laughs> yeah, don't be sad, dude. Yeah. I'm feeling fine, dude. Don't worry about my mental health. I will just stop being happy. I will uh, stop being sad, I mean. Do you know what's do you know what should have been the true secret ending? Guys, love yourself. That's all I gotta say. If you look in the mirror and hate yourself, love your self. Yes, you should love yourself now. Yes, you should. Because I do. Secret ending. The girl just opens the PC and sees this. Guys, love yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, see mine. Indie horror game. The game made with soul and love. Horror in the game. Let's play. You see all that crap? What the fuck is this? And then you see me. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, we're looping. We're looping. Look at this. We're gonna loop. We're gonna loop. <laughs> We're gonna loop forever. <laughs> we are looping forever, boys. We are doing. <laughs> there it is. Welcome to, <laughs> welcome to infinity. You're welcome. I'm open it. No. I never opened my stream live. I never did. Oh god, that's you! Oh, it's loading. No, I want I want to see myself. I want to see myself. I broke YouTube. There it is. There it is. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Epic. Only we have epic things like this here. Oh my god. Oh my god. We are looping. Fourth dimension. Everything much. Oh shit. King Crimson. You know King Crimson. So to me. You, oh, even the mouse! King Crimson! <laughs> even the mouse! King Crimson <laughs> Ah fuck let's watch Son Yagami dancing. Where is he? Where are you? He's gone No way he's gone other he's Nice Okay. <laughs> okay, that's the game. We did it. No secret ending. Not secret ending that says, if you are sad, stop being sad. I mean, I wish it was that easy. I'm telling you experience. <laughs> I wish it was as easy as that. I wish I could, fo I could feel the endless void. You know what I mean? Just get some... Get some cool pigments, fill the void, and that's it. But sadly, it's only temporary. Is it on YouTube, the ending? What, well, you found it? You found it, or you're asking? Hollow Mind, no, Hollow Hazy Mind. Because I, I looked for it a little bit, I couldn't find it. And this game is so tiny and 
I'm asking Lord Gates, fine. I look for it. But, uh... I couldn't find it. I found this, though. What the fuck is this? Oh, they're having a taken moment. They understand each other. <laughs> they're just having a taken moment. What is this thumbnail? Uh, but yeah, I'm looking for the end. I couldn't find it. I mean, it's gonna be disgusting, I guess. Hazy mind. Um, all endings? There's not even a video of all the endings of Hazy mind. There's barely any content about this game. There's barely anything. So I, I cannot find it. There's a video. I mean, I'm finding videos, but in Ukrainian. So maybe we can see the video in Ukrainian. But that is tomorrow. But that is after this. I'm gonna have a, a break in a few. In, in a few. You know, in a few. And I'll come back, don't worry. The guy looking for it. I found a bit doer playing the game. 231 hour video. So you're telling me to watch a full playthrough. 231 from who? Why do you say that? I cannot find it at 231. Hazy Mind will come out soon, yeah. Hazy Mind is better than you think. We need to do some... Listen, there's barely anything about Hazy Mind. I can be a cool guy. Abs pure gameplay. Um, I see my full gameplay too. That's not too bad. Visual novel. Okay, I found it. I can be. I can make videos of that. Going to. Oh, dude, Hazy Mind is this and that. My second road ending. So what is that? So now I just look for it. Okay, apps pure gameplay. Sorry for stealing your content, but I I I want to see the cool ending. I think I found it. I think it's this. We're just printing other endings. Smell fuck for you. See, yeah, 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 yeah. What is the story, the moral of this novel? Is it that people with such diseases have a hard life? They can invent a world they fully believe in and do terrible things. Also, you, the reader, shouldn't be mean to someone just because they are ill. Many people need help and they really have a hard time because they will never be part of society or they always feel deep down that they are pardoning their relatives. In many cases, bullying for these people is equal to the death. I think that's all. The story may seem very strong in terms of depression and discussions of suicide. I want to address people who have reached this point in the game and have problems in life. Please hold on. 119, then I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry for stealing content for this gentleman. Whatever this is, but I really want to see this. This is just the beginning of the game. This is just the game we just played. Do 
we have someone telling something no there's nothing here this is like me So we go for the ending or what? Yeah, hold on, that's the point. Where did where did people talking shit? I cannot find it, even though you say it's here, but 119 is just this is just what happens. Haha, <laughs> he got about the ending first try. What a silly. Haha. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Do you know what do you know what it is? Is this is here? That's all I gotta say. What is this ending? Look in the mirror, hate yourself, oh love my god. your self. Oh my god. Yes, you should love yourself now. Yes, you should. Because I do. Oh my god. Cool. Let's hold on. But you have to hold on. I just want to say. Do bad things to yourself. Love yourself, you see? Guys, love yourself. You see? I cannot find out. Ten days ago. When, did, when was this game uploaded? It's not real. It doesn't exist. This hyper-realistic horror. Oh yeah, followed one. Look at this fat guy. Is that John Cena? Why are we getting Fallout? Where... Mafia! 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 Brawling, brawling style showcase. Oh my god, he's brawling. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's not real. They just made a fake ending. I really wonder if we can get the channel. This is stream ban. Only because the thumbnails. What even are these things? Look at all these human beings. What the fuck is this? These bodybuilders took it way too far. What the fuck is this thumbnail? This is the fetish of the uploader. This is just fetish. Nothing else. Main page scroll down. We're gonna get Jagami dancing. Look at him. June paper one. <laughs> Where's Jagami? Oh shit! Oh shit! Get out of the game. Dude. Java phone DMC3 combo mad. Oh shit. Oh my god, Dante! Holy shit. Sweet. Oh, this guy is good. This guy is good. A stylish? No fucking. This guy is good. Oh my god. Mission complete. Dude, I cannot do that. I cannot do that. Did you see what this guy just did? This guy is good. I want to see that again. Swag. <laughs> Look at this combo, look at this combo he has did. Oh my god, launcher into falling down, attacks, shoots gun. Oh my god, into stinger. Oh my god, this guy is good. Oh my god. A style triple S, damage triple S. This, this guy is good. This guy is good. Oh my fucking god, he's fucking it down. Can I get copyright claim if I saw this? I like this song, and ironically, I like this song. It brings memories. Yeah, it brings memories. <laughs> I don't know why she's here, but 
no complaining. Ok, you know the song. La maldición de la pose de pulgar. <laughs> Tekken 8 Open World, Yakushima Free Roaming. I don't have played Tekken 8. Limbo's Gold. Beat it, but everyone knows it's C. What do we have over here? Eric Kramer vs. Jid. <laughs> Look at this. Is this what you wanted? Who should preemptively enter your casket this instant? Okay. It's in some way. How about some um, cool families like this? Why is he everywhere now? I need to play Oblivion here at some point. The VTuber has an ending. You're telling me a VTuber got the funny ending? Look at all these videos. Yes, okay, send link, I guess. Goku versus Tag, okay, I need to see this fight. What even is this? This uh, we need to play this fake version of Tenkaichi 3. It's just a seed post. We need to play this version. Insane. Kid gets his legs stolen by evil stepmom to find it i mean they just uh, wanted to find it listen but you this i'm sorry to, to sound like an asshole but okay be the crazy my which one this one azure de ardenia spanish english this one you want me to steal content from a vtuber Why is Miku here? With 18 millions? Or you mean a Nihongo VTuber? Roach Iliana. We are looking for VTubers. Is this a VTuber? Rogue Liliana, I guess. This one. Oh my god. 35045. Okay. Listen up, Rogue Liliana, I don't know who you are. I respect you. I, I respect I mean I see the GameCube and shit. I respect you, but I want to see the ending. So I'm really sorry. I don't know who this girl is. So I respect you, but I need to see the ending. I apologize. 35045. Dude, you motherfucker, the video's not... Motherfucker, the video's not even 350.45, you just pranked me! You just forced me to open a VTuber video. Dude, I never got... I The last time I got this joke was in 2011. The, oh, dude, my favorite part is 345, and the video's like 340. She likes Pokemon, for what I see. I got a 2012 prank. How? Three hours, ten minutes. It's the last new game with a weird ending. Okay. Three ten. Okay. Okay, that's her, I guess. Sorry, Miss Liliana. <laughs> Don't snipe me. Don't set your snipers at me. I want to see the ending. That's all I want. And as far as you know, you are the only one who has this. You have exclusive content from Hazy Mind. So I apologize. This is getting all the endings, but she got the cool ending. 
Okay, I want to see the ending. But, but it, she has lost media already. But where's the ending, dude? You said 310. But 310 is just a play. I want the proper ending. I want the developer going, oh, you know, you're feeling sad. You're feeling schizophrenic. Just, just stop doing it. Stop doing it. Are you forcing me to watch VTubers just for your amusement? Okay, who wants to do a collab with Liliana? We can play some Pikmin 3. Games are the only escape. That's the, that's the bad ending. What if this this hamster she has? What is that? <laughs> Never forget this could be the ultimate joke, by the way, in this channel. What's this? What is this different? Main characters who kill herself. Well, I think this is it. I think this is it. <laughs> Nobody's the VTuber. <laughs> Are you really forcing me to watch VTubers? Yes, to listen. If this is true, she has lost media. No, no, Liliana, no, 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 no. Listen, Liliana, I'll get you a copy of Torrente 3. I'll get you Torre Torrente 3, El Protector. Don't kill. Please don't kill. I need to see the ending. I am sorry. I don't know, the thing is, this game is so obscure, no one knows anything. I don't know what to believe. Okay, boys and yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, you're here. Okay, okay, she did it, she did it. Liliana, you got this. Liliana, listen, I don't know who this girl is. She has access to lost media. No one has this, only her. She has this on video. Wow, you you're here. You've gone through all the. Is he speak, is he reading this? Actually, hi, but don't worry. I know it's hard to get through them all. Okay, let's let just uh. I think that's gonna be next level of stealing. Just watch her video. Listen, this is called reacting. You know what? <laughs> Finally, boys, I ascended to the true form of a streamer. I react to people. I react to videos. I don't even upload content. People do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. We need it. No, 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 not you. This is the key to success. This is how you success in Twitch and YouTube. You react. You don't do content. You let people do content for you and you react to that. And you get the money. You know, you're not subbing to me, do me a favor and sub to Liliana. You see? If you aren't subbing to me, sub to her. You see, you have the tweets, your TikTok, you see, has everything. Look at all the shit she has. <laughs> this is average streamer. Look at, look at this shit. Look at... <laughs> that I would not think. <laughs> we don't give a shit, boys. I congratulate you. Okay, then again, let me say this was again. I apologize to this VTuber lady. I want the ending. By the way, you want a face cam? I don't know if I have the face cam over here still. Do we have the face cam? Face cam is gone. Or at least I don't know what it is. I have I have this though. What is it? I have this though. Okay, I think I have the face cam. There it is, you see? <laughs> okay, boys. Okay, boy, it's me reacting to... <laughs> it's me reacting to this VTuber. She likes Pokemon, so we can... Uh... We need to do a collab. <laughs> 
I will show her who, who Carablast is and all that shit. And then she will tell me who her Pokemon is and Carablast, yes. Okay, listen, enough of this. Lidiana, I'm sorry for stealing from you, but I want to see the ending. Surprise someone like it. Okay. I'm gonna give her a like, by the way, just because of the, you know, stealing her, their ending out of her. <laughs> but she has lost media. Obviously, games give some kind of bonus for this. I'll give a bonus too. Okay. But it might disappoint you because the game isn't quite what it seems. You know, when I was creating it, I didn't want to give any explanation for my decisions in the game as it would lose its, its charm. But then they stand now that players probably want to know that the author already intended and not implemented it. I mean, I can be a massive asshole and do something like this. Now, this could be the next level of assholery. Give me a second. Give me a second. <laughs> now this. Now this is the next level of assholery. We're not doing this, by the way. This is way too much. Yeah, they're coming to me. She is coming. Boys, this is the last stream. <laughs> M-Tuber, Macaco Tuber. Uh, if, I don't, if I'm not here on Monday or whatever, then um, Liliana's sniper got me. She got me. I got goted by Liliana. And that's, that's it. The screen. Wait. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> okay, boys, I think I think this is my last stream. <laughs> I think this is my last stream. <laughs> I think I think we're done here, boys. I have a feeling that as soon as I close the stream, where I'm gonna be just um not here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I think um guys, if you're here, I think I'm not hunting a fatalis. You know? I think uh, I th I think fatalis is gonna live. I'm sorry, dude. I am, um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, all of this. Or oh, is the end of this? Oh shit. Okay, boys. Next step. Say thanks to her. Where are you ready? No, no I'm not beef. I'm not beefing. Listen, I'm gonna leave a like, I'm gonna leave a comment too. This game may seem you, to you like a typical story about a girl with schizophrenia, but that is not the main message here. This is not the main message here. That was the main message. The message is about how a person struggles and doubts whether to kill themselves. The main character creates images of Morana, demon, which are also catalysts for suicide. Okay. In fact, in every ending, the heroine dies. No, I got a good ending where she survives. Consider each ending and what it foreshadows. In the good ending, we see in the end how the main character is saved and then we see her in a hospital bed. The problem is that some of the pictures are black and white. For example, the house or the mother at the end. It's not certain that she was safe because these are not colorful pictures. To get to the good ending, you need to make a phone call. Why? Because it's the only choice where the heroine really takes a brief action. Understanding that she might be arrested, understanding that everything might turn out very badly, she still makes the call and tries to dial the number. 
You're laughing at me getting sold by a VTuber squad? By Liliana's army? I have no funnies. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Bauhu still... Wait. I still got Bauhu here? <laughs> I was looking for something stupid, but I still got Bauhu. <laughs> oh, I thought he was gone. I have pictures here that I don't even know what they are. Do you know what, do you know what I have? I still, I still have this. This thing, we need to stop this. Of course, it's not the only condition to get there. But if you choose the phone, but, but still go to a bad or neutral ending, then in the end, you will not have the choice to kill yourself or not, which usually happens if you choose a knife or pills. Because you took a step to help yourself, but it is still turned out to be too small. In the battle neutral ending, Morana might kill us. Why? If she's imaginary. Why didn't she kill earlier? It's like we are suiciding, I guess. That's what Morana means. Because the whole game is about how the heroine struggles with the desire to kill herself, with bipolar disorder haunting her. If you notice at the beginning, when examining the room, Morana condemns the main character for suicide, saying that her life is not so bad as to kill herself, and that she doesn't understand her. Then the demon appears, who clearly hints that the heroine should end her life, which praises that she's a nobody, etc. Etc. Oh shit. This character, like Morana, also pushes towards this. <laughs> then Morana appears again and says that she will spend eternity with us, that we are unhappy. I'm pretty sure Baofu cannot stop need one fourth of the bullet. I mean, if she's the Baofu we know when I play the game, I'm pretty sure she cannot even take one fourth of the bullet. The splash damage will kill me. I mean, I'm pretty sure just the bullet going... Even if the, I just got shot, and the bullet just not even touch me, the air it moves will kill me. Good for you. What if Baofu is my Morana? <laughs> What if Baofu is my Morana? How about that? What if Baofu is the one telling me to go outside and touch some grass? <laughs> what about that? <laughs> so this girl got, gets a goth girl. I got some Taiwanese crackhead that hacks people. And thinks that women are like demon and then takes two damage and dies. I, I think Baofu was from Taiwan, I think. Was he? Wait, was he from Taiwan? What well, person I think it was Chinese or... Wait. Nationality. Native of Taiwan. Okay, he's Taiwanese. Anyway, I told you. See, I played the game. I played the game. And he has a doctor that looks like the Splatoon girl in Persona 5. What? <laughs> no, no, this, let's go that far. There's only one waifu. And she's doing... And she works at McDonald's in Kamurocho. That's the only one. The Morana appears again and says that she will eat shit. Then she talks about wanting to be free. And that the main character should kill herself. Morana is a League of Legends teammate. Then you talk, and in the bed on neutral ending, you come to the moment when the main character says she doubts. Or a response that she shouldn't doubt, and that there is no way out. Then the choice to kill oneself or not, regardless of this choice, you will die. Either by Morana's hands or by your own. Because doubts are not enough, as in the last words of the main character, she realizes that there is no way out, although she hopes for it. She wants to kill herself, no matter what you answer. As a reason, she will still do it because of emotions. <laughs> but what about the end with dreams, or where they run away together? There it seems everything ends well. 
beautiful eyes. He's not letting Okay, listen, if the ending is getting way too scary for you, I will fix it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I will fix the ending for you if it's getting too scary. There you go. Better? Let's consider the ending where they run away. At the beginning, Morana smiles because she will run away with the main character far, far away and they will always be together. But then the face changes. No matter how far they run, their problems will catch up with them sooner or later and they will just be hiding from loneliness. Morana. <laughs> yeah, we, can, we need Morana for the what? The Nisiki joint wars? Don't worry. I think it's understandable that everything ends sadly here. Nothing will change, and the main character will give up and won't run away. Although she so wanted to escape her problems, but you can run away from them. They just don't show that the main character keeps herself here. Every ending is dog shit. That's the point. Let's consider the ending where the main character sleeps with Morana. The ending title dreams are the only escape. Okay, quick quest, did a quick thing. We you told me that people hated this because this is what a visual novel shouldn't do. Just practically telling you what is happening. Because I mean I I'm not the expert of visual novel, but imagine when you finish Phoenix Wright and you have the director of the game going, although this happens here because Phoenix is a good guy. Something like that. So that's the Visual Novel Master, he's not, he's sleeping. He's taking a nap. You only get this ending if you choose that you don't think suicide is the way out, unlike running away with Morana. This is important. We'll come back to this later. Call him. Dude, it's like 3 a.m. for him. It's like, it's like 3 a.m. for him, maybe even later. I think every time, I think when it's 5, it's 12 for him. For me, my 5 p.m. is his 12 a.m., I think. I'm gonna kill him. Which gentleman here? It's a Chun. Chun Chumaru is the visual novel expert. Yeah. He is the visual novel master. He knows everything. Three hour legs. Okay, Chun. Tell me. What is this? They call him. He's not playing leg. His ass is not playing Lee right now. I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe his ass is playing league. He's off, thank God. Man is sleeping, thank God. Bet your ass is sleeping. Dude, I'm gonna get him Monster Hunter War or something. Just to, for, he said he doesn't like Monster Hunter. I refuse to let the man play League of Legends. I'm gonna get him Monster Hunter War, I don't give a shit. <laughs> In this ending, Morana and the main character lie together and chat. The main point of the conversation is that the main character adores Morana and wants to spend all her time with her because all people are bad. <laughs> all people are bad! <laughs> the witch Morana, as the voice of reason, responds that not all people are bad, that you didn't try and didn't strive to find them. And in reality, there is a way out of all your problems because you choose earlier that you don't want to die. That was that's what you should wait. That that what you should do is not justify yourself and not feel sorry, but to go outside and enjoy every day, find friends, try to become healthier and so on. Are we having sound effects here? It seems that for the first time Morana said something that could Yeah, there is music. I don't want to put the audio because this is just a stealing content from her, that's way too much. I mean as you know, I don't know where she is. But wherever she is from, uh, let's say a, a car with at least four guys are coming for, to my location. So I think if I put out, they're gonna they're gonna step on the gas faster. So I'm gonna take it easy. It seems that for the first time, Morana said something that could really solve the main character's problems, and she wants to help her. But what does the main character reply? Fuck you! She says, "Let's sleep together, and that dreams are the only way out." Do you know what that means? Yes, it means that the main character doesn't want a solution to her problems. 
I just noticed this thing is moving. This, this I, I, listen, I don't know this girl. I just noticed this raccoon. It's blinking and moving the mouth. I just noticed that. Look at that. This thing is alive. <laughs> Dude, if I ever do the ultimate joke, I want this with Nisiki. No, I noticed the, the, the animal thingy. This raccoon, it's blinking. Look at the raccoon. It's moving the mouth and it's blinking. You see? I noticed the raccoon move. I think it was a plushie. It's, an, it's a living being. It's a living creature. Holy shit. It's alive. It's alive. The ultimate joke. The ultimate joke will be me with having a, a fish that moves like that. Big Nisiki, a koi carp. It is the same as sitting in a locked room without food and water, wanting to go outside. And meanwhile, you have a key next to you that you don't use. The same is true for the main character. She doesn't want a solution. She just wants to die again, which is what happens off screen in this ending. She just tried to enjoy her last minutes with Morana, as in the ending with Escape. The ending where Morana kills her for the ground choice about which direction to go. What's here? Right or left? No one knows. In general, you should listen to the main information. She was telling you important information and you did not listen. This is way too long. Alright, let's talk more about the main heroine. She might seem very harmless to you and you will worry about her because you play as her. But this main character clearly has a lot of problems. Let's start with the fact that she excessively likes to portray herself as a victim. <laughs> what a long way to say touch grass. <laughs> I want to talk to her and see a skin portion of the time, which is serious problem. Yes. She apologizes for this many times, explaining that she couldn't say it earlier because she was afraid of offending the main heroine. Basically, yes, it's sad, understandable. But what does Morana, the main heroine, say about you? Yo! That, that as soon as you open up, they just remove you from friends and just stop communicating without reason when the main character talk about her feeling. Do you catch on? She really, really loves to pity herself. And she's selfish. Dude, Liliana is saying something. It, okay, listen to... Liliana is talking about... She really loves to pity herself. What, what's her opinion of this? And she's selfish. Nobody likes a pity party. That's the problem. It's like... I have, I've been friends with people that literally are constantly playing victim and just constantly want a pity party and it's like you try and help them but they never seem to want to improve or better things. It's like they constantly want to sit in like a really bad situation because it's almost like it's grabbing attention. I always hear people that want attention is they're, they're, they're missing something so what is it they're missing? Is it that they just need a friend? Is it they just need someone to love them? Like, is it, I don't know, like, it's hard. And you can't always give your energy to someone like that because then it's, it's taking away energy that you have for yourself. And to be honest, over the last like 11 years since I've been with Pyro, He's taught me that it's so important to look after myself more than anyone else. That's what I was like, talking about, the, the raccoon thing he blinks with her. By being that way and looking after myself, then I have energy if I have any left to, you know, be there for other people if so be it. Um, but it's not wrong of you to look after yourself. Long story, I think she's saying that there are people that refuse help. Where is she from? Is she American? She's British. Really isn't. 
Okay. Kakao, you know her? Is this Kakao? Is, is this Kakao? <laughs> Kakao, you know this? She likes to make it look like everyone is against her. Of in reality, her mother supported her as much as she could. She's from the she's, she's from the country. She loves to invent unnecessary drama for herself, and she believes in it, deceiving herself. I think it can be said that she's a bad person, and she's in incorrigible, because even when Morana talks in the ending about how she can improve, she doesn't. Red super chat. Boys, I cannot give her a red super chat. I think... I think she's on Twitch. I think she's on Twitch. Oh, fuck. You see, she's, on, she's, she's a Twitch streamer. She plays on Twitch. And she's played Final Fantasy. You see, go give her a, a like or something. She plays on Twitch and I just do donations. I can't give her red super chats. Because, I mean... Oh, yeah, I, I can. Oh, shit. Wait, am I doxing myself? We must say go. <laughs> Wait, I don't. Uh... No, I'm not doxing myself, thank God. There you go. see, boys? There you go. I'm gonna give all my money to her. Stitch on you. <laughs> she just doesn't want to don't worry boys I will I will subscribe and leave a comment now okay how about that I'm just literally stealing from her we'll do <laughs> she just doesn't want to Okay, I see he said, if you want to know what Liliana is saying, go watch the video. Listen, I'm going to put a link here. If you, if you want to see Liliana, there you go. There you go. If you want to leave, leave a like or something, be nice to her. How much did you give? Nothing. I don't. Do you think I can my credit card to this YouTube account that I don't use for streaming? There's nothing else. <laughs> I, I have nothing here. This, this channel only exists to stream and nothing else. Uh, well, I guess streaming and this. Am I cured? <gasps> He's gone. No way he's gone. No. No. What is he? No, 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 no. There it is. There you go. Yagami. What if Yagami does Listen, uh, uh, as Dambo said, she has the judge eyes. Maybe Yagami doesn't like her. Blue eyes like judgment? Maybe Yagami doesn't like her. <laughs> Yagami took the bullet. <laughs> Check the comment. I hope you're not an asshole. Shit. Please don't be an asshole. There's nothing here. I am serious, boys. Please don't be an asshole. Come on. Don't do it. I lost what I was, by the way. Where were we? Shit, I lost it. Here. Boys, uh, you just need John. Dude, I'm really serious, please don't be mean to her. I I'm honest. I'm being serious. I don't know why you're typing, see nothing. But please, I'm, I'm honest, please be nice. This is not a joke anymore. It's, it's funny when we're laughing together, when we're just being assholes. I, I mean, I don't know what you're typing, that's what I'm scared for. <laughs> I'm asking just to be nice. Uh, 
everyone can say, I'm I hear my support as much as equal. She loves to invent unnecessary drama for herself. There you go, good enough. And she believes in deceiving herself. I think it can be said that she's a bad person and she's incorrigible. Because even when Morana talks in the ending about how she can improve, she doesn't. She doesn't want to. Oh, it's where Liliana gives her opinion. If you want to listen to Lil Liliana's opinion, click on the video. She doesn't want to live and change anything in her life, and at the same time, she considers herself. Okay. I hope this gave Joy the understanding on why she made up such a drama in the diary, and why the chat with Eo was shown, and why Morana always felt so sorry for her and says how good she is. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, you can sympathize with her, as she's a sick person, but she's extremely selfish, and I don't even know what can help her. You are the author, you know everything. Sometimes I feel sad for her, but at the same time, I understand that dying is the only way of, out for her, as in reality, neither treatment nor friends, nothing will help her. The diary you were reading is an alternate reality. In this reality, the main character still has a sad life, even though she was not without schizophrenia for a long time. Even in this fantasy, the situation adds up very badly. Despite finally making friends and getting a boyfriend, her selfishness and lack of consideration for others contribute to the negative outcome. Her decision to live without explaining anything to anyone is an extremely egocentric move. Unlike Io, who explains her feelings and reasons for living, our character will just live and keep suffering a lot. Okay, Lena is explaining. It's, it's, it's definitely... Thanks, Liliana. Like, that her actions would have on others. Yes, that is definitely selfish. I do believe that that's selfish. But... If they are really hurting in some way, if they really feel burdened, like they're burdening others around them, like if they don't see the wood for the trees kind of thing, I think the idea of nothing would be able to help them, I think that's, I don't know if I believe that. I believe in life, Liliana. Everyone should deserve a second choice. How about you? Liliana, have you heard of the high elves? It seems like she actually prefers to be in pain. No. to do so sometimes they they think something's they're so used to thinking in a negative sense that they don't know how to change that yeah i understand that like i personally i i was able to do it because for me personally i i have insight i have insight right and a lot of people don't have that but i had insight and i had a friend to talk to me and stuff reacting to a reaction of a dev reaction of the game they made. <laughs> Only in this channel, boys. Only in this channel we level up the game like that. I'm still, I'm still taking something. There you go. Be nice. Often, First to pain. To okay, if you want to really... What is this law? She's your countryman, dude. We're just watching the secret ending, Cacao. Cacao, listen up. Quick, quick explanation. Ending got removed because it was dog shit. This VTuber, Rogue Liliana, is, as far as we know, the only one who recorded the ending. Which the ending, it's terrible because it's pretty much the developer telling you everything. So it's like, there's no reader brain development <laughs> there's no there's no reader idea there's no reader comprehension the developer is telling you how you should feel and who is this and what is why is he doing this and why the character is this which it's weird and as far as you know she is the only one who, who has this recorded as far as we know You have the link on the chat. Did you want to drop a like to her or a subscribe a subscription or something? Yes, I agree. Maybe it's not a plot like Nolan's it's, or something of that sort, but I try to make this game more of a not what it seems kind of a thing. 
I sincerely hope you like it. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, that kind of fun, like Silent Hill 2. Maybe I missed some moments in the story, sorry for that. But I think I conveyed to you what I wanted to do, and that's the most important thing. Be strong and change yourself for the better. Go outside and just enjoy nature. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you, you have a schizophrenia, you have demons in your head every day telling you to close your eyes and do nothing. Go outside. I, mean, I understand this. I, part of me understands what the developer is trying to say. It's some shit. <laughs> this, I understand the... The developer is pretty much trying to tell you that even though with all the problems you have, all the disease, the mental diseases you could have, you try still to go outside and live life to the fullest. I understand, but... By what this game is, of what they, we just see with the entire explanation, it feels out of touch. It's telling the character selfies because it's just doing this and that. It's, it feels out of touch. I understand, but it feels... You know, at the end of the day, all of us are human. All of us want to live, live to the fullest. Just yes, some of us have, are, um, some of us have, have wars in our brains harder than others. You know what I mean? <laughs> some of us, um, some of us are fighting Jack Frost. Others are fighting Mara. How about that? And then others have like Joker Persona 5 as a teammate. And then I have Baofu. I'm not winning. Infinite Wealth Ending, yeah. Dude, Infinite Wealth Ending is us. Kaboy Makan. No, don't watch me. Don't watch me. Watch Road Liliana. Check it. Boom. Thank you, Liliana. I will leave a comment now thanking her for recording this. Everything in this life is... Everything in this life is unimportant and therefore in its own way beautiful. You have no enemies and nothing is stopping you from improving yourself. Try for your own sake. This is giving, it's giving you a positive message. What about the fact that the game is based on real events? No, I do not suffer from any psychological disorders, depression, or schizophrenia, and I hope I will not encounter them. The entire game and all characters are fictional and have no relation to me. Okay, that's all. I wish you luck in life, and most importantly, happiness. Don't forget to smile. Maybe that way, the problems will go away. Bye. Awesome. What do you think of that, Liliana? Oh, we have smile. And I think the... And my only criticism i would say of the game and maybe this is i say i think the game is great i, th I really yeah, enjoyed the game is the game. Great. my only criticism is um and it's not really a criticism it's more of a difference of opinion is because the because the developer hasn't experienced things like depression stuff like that um any sort of mental illness, anxiety, or uh, like doesn't suffer from schizophrenia, it can be incredibly difficult to hmm. fully understand how someone feels going through that, or yeah. like unless like you can talk to people, of course. Yeah, I mean, she's basically saying saying that. Ah, this is like that. It's hard to represent if you don't feel it or talk with people like that, which I understand. Schizophrenia. Listen, we talk about the schizophrenia because of Yakuza 8. Do you know, it's not this sick. It's even haha funny. Schizophrenia is something really, really serious. That's really serious. That's a really, really serious disease. There's nothing else, right, Liliana? I mean, that's a, that's her outro. Oh my god. What what you playing, Liliana? Yo, she's playing Persona. Yo, she likes RPG. Final Fantasy 7. Baldur's Gate, Persona 5, and Elden Ring. Oh, shit. She likes RPGs. Do you need to be excited? I mean, it helps. It helps you for the roleplay. She likes RPGs, boys. <laughs> How you play Persona 2? <laughs> I mean, be, being a size or IRL helps you, I guess. It, it, it helps you with the roleplay. But you don't need to. So, for somehow, as far as we know, as far as we know, this VTuber is the only one with this ending recorded. With the end deleted ending, as far as we know. With that, I mean, maybe someone else has it, but we don't know. So, 
Thank you, Liliana. Hay un comentario. <laughs> I'm gonna put something nasty. You know, I, I, I'm streaming the game. And you are the only one and the secret ending got deleted. I hope you don't mind, but I saw this on the stream because we wanted to see the secret ending, blah, blah, blah. Please don't kill me. So, I mean, game was nice. The game was cool. The thing is, it's short, I guess, but, you know, I don't know the usual length of... Chun said there are visual novels that are like 60 hours long. That is called a video game. That, that is called a turn-based RPG. <laughs> The thing is when the Fatalis. Fatalis is, is um uh, still have it. Yeah, I got you, Liliana. No, I mean I, I guess you won't do it. Listen, I'm the I'm the asshole that will delete everything, not her. Los media gracias. Muchos gracias. Oh yeah, well, cool cool, Liliana, that was really nice. As far as we know, she's the only one with this. Do an audiobook three times. <laughs> do an audiobook three times. Um, what can I say? Ah, no, listen. I want to sound. Listen, I don't want to sound like a, de a degenerate. I want to leave something. Listen, I just still like thirty minutes of her video, of her stream. The least, the least thing I can do is drop a like, add subscribe, and leave a comment. Just saying, hey, thank you. I play stream the game, and we there's I played the version without the secret ending. But how did she get this? By the way, how did you? I guess okay, I guess she gets every achievement. Every achievement is start. You, see, you get every achievement and then you start. Did she mention the secret agent achievement? Thanks. Wow, you're here. You've gone through all the endings. Actually five, but don't worry. I know it's hard to get through them all. Okay, she didn't say the, the secret agent ending, but pretty much you, the game just tells you. You got all of them. So this is what I was missing because it's patched out. So, as far as we know, Liliana has lost media. Cool. Cool. Video, thank you. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, <laughs> thanks, Liliana. <laughs> have, you played, have you heard of the high elves? No. Pretty much, I mean, what you said is, I could copy and paste that, and that's it. No. You see, my number, you, right above you is like a perfect message to, to type. What you just type is like the complete opposite. <laughs> okay, may have a family. Yeah, dude. Ah, uh, listen. I mean, I want to tell her, I mean, I also want to let her know I stream this because maybe she said, no, dude, dude, don't, don't steal my content, which I clearly understand. So I can delete it if she wants to. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe she doesn't want someone else just steaming her content because that's what they did. <laughs> Wait, what is this? What happened to every GTA protagonist? After the game, Tommy dead. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is Tommy dead? No. No, 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 no. Claude appears in GTA. Shut up. Is Tommy like, dead? Hey, that game was so big, I should have charged them more money. Dan said... He, yeah. surv he survives. And we say this because a your name. Maybe you won't... Don't get us killed now, okay? So this blog was obviously meant to be Ken Paul basically talking from the year 2002. So maybe Rockstar that Games honest. didn't silently kill off Tony Cipriani. Character, but uh, I guess it's all up to interpretation once again. So let me know what you think about epic. that. Because we're going to move on now. Look at this epic James gameplay by City. Case. Awesome. Uh... Epic. The fuck is this? Okay, listen, no movement is around. Um, th no, let's type. Thanks for the 
video. Boom, coma, boom. That's a, that's a first step. I. <laughs> I stream the game, but the version I played was missing the six the secret ending the secret ending team comment okay boys you hate first being nice is is simping being nice is simping <laughs> was missing the secret ending and as far as i know you are the only one who has it on video dot 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 you have <laughs> lost media <laughs> i don't type that no Um, I showed it on the stream. <laughs> if I die, you're coming with me. If I die, you're coming with me. You hear me? I will be number one. You will be number two. You know who you are. You're gonna be number two. You're on the chat. You know who you are. <laughs> I saw on the stream, so we can... <laughs> you have lost me. <laughs> So we could see that. So we could enjoy the end, the full game, the the game fully, the game fully. I said on Steam, so we could enjoy the game fully. If you, <laughs> I want to type this. If you don't like. I, don't, I, I want to put if you don't like having your content stolen. Change reading and all that. I'm pretty sure. A pleasure she will ban me. If you don't like me stealing your content pretty much, I don't want to call it a stolen. This is the only way to see this ending, as far as I know. To write that. What? I want her to know if she wants to delete this shit. I want to be. Haha, <laughs> he never know. Another challenge. Yeah, pretty much. Your self look bad. Pretty much. I can delete the stream if you don't want your content. Pretty much. We can just type that. Um. Yeah, pretty much. I can delete the stream if you don't want. Oh shit. If you don't want your content on other people videos. There you stream. No, but I want to let her know I stream this, as I'm telling you. Maybe she doesn't want to have her content on someone else's videos. So I just want to let her know you you don't want this, so I can take it. I can delete the stream if you don't want your content on other people's videos. Bye. <laughs> I, that's sad. I want to let her know that, that she doesn't want that, whatever. So, dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being nice, okay? I didn't know that being nice to the opposite sex is just being a simp. Bye for now. Okay, thanks. Uh, lost media, thanks. existing now that I, I should be saying that I want to be nice I most likely she won't read this like why would she even care and she will read this and say report to YouTube die next next stream of this girl would be there is a guy stealing from me I want you to steal his organs <laughs> bring him to me <laughs> 
Uh, that's pretty much it. Keep being awesome. <laughs> that's it. Bye. That's it. I mean, there's nothing else to say. Reading the comment. She's reading. What if she's here right now? You're being too nice. I'm, I mean, I'd rather be. I'd rather sound like a fucking idiot talking to a, a a person I will never meet in my life rather than just say nothing, you know? There are people that take this kind of content seriously. I mean, I don't know if she's, this is the, her livelihood. I just want, I know it's irrelevant because, as you said, I'm just a fucking nobody and it will be like that forever, but I just want to play nice. That's it. <laughs> I just want to be nice. That's all. Third channel. Good. <laughs> no, no, listen, she's gonna get here and she's gonna see I play Persona 2 and she's gonna say, oh shit. What are those games? <laughs> um, that's it. Thanks. That's it. I mean, what else can I say? That's it. Thanks for the video. I stream the game. See the ending. You're the only one to show on stream, so blah, blah, blah. I can't delete the stream if you don't want your content on other people's video. Ban. <laughs> if she wants to kill me, so be it. I will have my own Morana. I mean, we said my Morana, my Morana is powerful, so fuck me. That's it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, like this, a letter. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. This channel, this guy's channel is fucking dog shit. To collab now, nah, dude. This doesn't work like that. Yes, comment this on the edge. That's it, dude, comment. Wait. You own lost media. Nah, let's not be a weirdo. That's it, fuck it, comment. Let's get out of here. We got enough. This fucking asshole, dude. This fucking asshole. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> What is this collection? What is this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? Why is this recommended for me? Look at these cool videos. Look at this. What is this? Oh yeah, cool videos. Cool videos. This is still one of the best thumbnails, by the way. It, it, it's not even mine, but this is still one of my favorite thumbnails, if not my favorite. <laughs> Look at these cool thumbnails. <laughs> Do I still remember? Dude, wait, 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 wait. Dude, my favorite ones are Omori. Where are the Omori ones? The Omori ones are just insane. Look at this. <laughs> what the hell is this? Look at that. Everything is normal. See, everything is normal. <laughs> you have this. Do I still remember when we played Omori and we went to YouTube Gaming? And even has, you know, this, those kind of families and then you have this and you could... <laughs> oh shit, okay, we're... <laughs> wait, where's my... Wait, Majima is dancing. Why no one told me Majima was dancing? Or maybe you told me I didn't pay attention. Oh shit. Yeah, good shit. Uh, thanks Liliana, sorry for stealing. Feel free to report me to YouTube and just straight up murder me, okay? Just feel free to do it. I really don't give a shit. You know who I, you know who I like dancing? This guy.
Okay, boys, here's the deal. Um, fuck off, Nisiki. What are you, why are you here? Um, <laughs> I apologize, Nisiki. Fuck you. Uh, I'm leaving, but I'm coming back, by the way. I'm going to play some Monster Hunter. I'm going to uh, do some serious damage to Fatalis, almost likely will die, but not oh, by the way. Guys, love yourself. That's all I gotta say. If you look in the mirror and hate yourself, love yourself. Yes, you should love yourself now. Yes, you should. Because I do. Okay, I'm gonna play Monster Hunter now. You guys do whatever you want. I'm gonna take a short break. I'm, I'm cutting off the stream. I'm, I'm making a new one. No, I will, I, will put the, I will put the heat on YouTube. I mean, I'm just going to take a short break. You know those things I do from time to time? Like, the last one I took was from Lost Judgment, I think. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I will... 15 minutes, 20, I guess 20 minutes, and I'll be, I'll be back. With some fatalities. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a brief stream, so if you want to go there, do it. Um... But yeah, I'm sorry. Um, you do whatever you want. So much. No, I, I'm gonna eat on that. I'm, I'm coming back. <laughs> because I want to. I want to stay late for a little bit. I want to do a long Monster Hunter stream. But uh, yeah, cool shit. So whatever you wanna do, take care. Okay. Monster Hunter is coming. That's intelligent. I'm gonna make another pre-stream. 20 minutes, the 20 minutes Monster Hunter is here. Fatalis grind, which most, like, most likely will be my, me just dying for Fatalis, but... You do whatever you want to do, okay? If you got enough, take care, okay? Enjoy the Saturday or Sunday or whatever it is for you. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy your thing. Enjoy your uh, hazy mind. Enjoy your... Uh, God girls in your mind, I guess. I don't even know. I'm going to fight a big dragon. You do whatever you want. So I'll be right back in 20 minutes, pretty much. 20 minutes. Open up the pre-stream. Um, yeah, you do whatever you want, okay? Before the stream. You do whatever you want. I mean, the, the Fatalis stream is going to take a while. Pretty sure I'm going to die a lot. But, um... Yeah. See ya. Fatalis is coming. 20 minutes. Fatalis in 20 minutes, boys. That's all really I got to say. You take care, okay? But at least 20 minutes. And take care, okay? I don't know. 20 minutes. 20, listen, as soon as it's a, I see 20 on the on the on the clock in the PC, I'm shutting off the stream. And I'll be back in 20 minutes. Real. Real. So 30 seconds, boys. 30 seconds and I close this shit. You do whatever you want. I'm gonna fight a big bitch. I'm gonna fight a, a fatalis. So that's pretty much it. So what are we doing in 20 seconds? Shit, I don't know. Um, joint. Yeah. Okay, boys, five seconds. Uh, you do whatever you want. I'm gonna stream Monster Hunter now. You do your thing, okay? So um, whatever you do, do it good, okay? Have fun.